guys I'm gonna go get something to eat we're gonna watch a video if you're not a fan of the video that's totally fine but don't forget to hit a follow Now, I know what you're thinking. You see the title, you see the video duration, and you're like, oh god, it's finally happened. He's gone postal. No worries, I'm fine. Honestly, it's just a big change with the game, so naturally, it warrants a big video, that's all. So, as you may know, the level boost was announced for TBC Classic recently. There's been a lot of discussion surrounding it, and I wanted to weigh in myself here. I want to go on record here saying that I didn't want to make this video. I know that's like the biggest cliche on YouTube, but really, it's true. This is an unpleasant subject for me. The discussion surrounding it is very toxic. I know it's going to make a lot of people angry. And to that end, just keep in mind, it is my opinion, and it isn't meant to make anyone angry. Anyone who's a regular to the channel can probably guess that I'm against it. In general, I'm not a fan of cash shops. They do work and they make sense in some games, but I personally think that they don't in Classic, as I'll explain. But whatever the case is, I want to stress constructiveness in this video. I said that there's... What? Are you saying hi? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, as I was saying, I said that there's been a lot of discussion about it, but really, it's more just arguing and toxicity. It's hard to find a discussion where people are debating the points. It seems to me that people are more debating that they're 100% correct, and the other party is 100% incorrect, which usually isn't the way the world works. Like, I guarantee that there's a certain percentage of people who just heard me say that I'm against the boost, so... The switch has flipped on, and they're thinking that anything and everything this guy could possibly say is irrelevant and incorrect. It literally doesn't matter what I could say. It could turn out that foregoing the level boost would lead to world peace and pure happiness for everyone on Earth. There would still be those who would reply, Yeah, but that's not fair to those who don't have time to level. Stop being selfish, you nerd. Well, really, let's be honest here. That's not a discussion. I've invested what some would consider an unhealthy amount of time thinking about and researching this topic. In the past three-ish weeks, I've been reading forums, talking one-on-one -on -one with Blizzard developers, streamers, YouTubers, players, the works. And if you truly care about the game as much as the guy who spent approximately 120 hours of his life making a one hour video about the recreation of a 15 year old video game, you listen to my points just as much as I've listened to yours. So I just wanted to put it out here that the overall goal of this video is to have an actual discussion about a pretty major feature coming to DBC Classic. The biggest thing is to not take it personally. The goal of this video isn't even to necessarily sway your opinion, it's to let you know exactly what you're getting with the level boost, because it's not just a level boost. It comes with many strings attached, and these strings have the potential to tear down core design pillars that make Classic World of Warcraft, Classic World of Warcraft. Is it this world-ending thing? Of course not, but at the end of the day, this is a paid service in a game that didn't have it back then, that wasn't designed with it in mind and that it will indeed have cascading effects, as I'll explain. So forgive me for the extra long intro, but I just wanted to front load it with all of this because, as I've said, it's been a rather nasty and sensitive subject. This year's BlizzCon revealed many details about the highly anticipated recreation of Blizzard's hit 2007 expansion to World of Warcraft, The Burning Crusade, and the word of the day is changes. Video game re-releases are always tricky because there's a special balance that you want to hit in recreating the original game, but at the same time, sticking true to what made it special. And as hard as that is, it's even harder for MMOs because you always have that multiplayer aspect. What other people do has an effect on your gameplay, either directly or indirectly, so from the get-go, developers are in this dilemma. Many of us saw in Vanilla Classic the repercussions of staying too true to the original, the no changes method in an attempt to preserve the original experience as much as possible was sabotaged in some ways as they learned that recreating the game versus recreating the experience are
<laughs> Two very different things. And you saw this in the form of world buffs, raid logging, and the general easy difficulty of raiding, to name just three. Back then, the idea of changes was unheard of. I like Mad Season. Hey, Doritos. I like Mad Season, but... I literally... Um, and I know it's going to be good, but... How can you make a video about one hour about a fucking boost? And I like Mad Season is my friend, but I, I literally don't get it. So, uh, and I'm pretty sure you're going to bring really good point though. But I, 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 it blows my mind. Oh. On a boost. I think people overreact about this boost. Oh, everyone. I always joke that people would freak out over their farts smelling different because that's what it seemed like. And by the way, I just want to say that I really, really like Mad Season. Really do. But I, I need to still give my thoughts, like... The idea of a level boost would have sent the community into nuclear overdrive. But, as I've said, things have changed, and many big changes were announced in the Burning Crusade Classic. And overall, from what I can tell, the community has been quite receptive because we've all seen what the hand... In the fucking buff, man. Hands off approach can bring arena tweaks, shared paladin seals, gated raids, and of course the level boost, which brings me to the meat and potatoes of this video. At BlizzCon, it was announced that the classic Burning Crusade will have the level boost service, which is a paid service that will instantly bring one character of your choice to 58. It is limited to one use per account, and it is 58, not 70, which is of course the cap for the Burning Crusade and you can only use it on the Burning Crusade Classic servers. The Classic Era Realms, which are the permanent non-Fresh 60 servers, will not be available for this boost. And you can't use it on the new races, the Blood Elf and the Draenei. The reasoning for this, provided by Blizzard in their official fact, is there's this person who wants to play BC, but they don't want to level through the old world. They're not going to play unless this boost exists. So because of these restrictions, and the overall climate of the community's receptiveness to oh, changes like has created like, you just, like, Blizzard just want to make more money, and obviously with the boost, they're going to make more money, not only with the boost, with the subs. So you need to think about that, that Blizzard is a company, and a company, they, they want to make money out of their game, out of their thing that they're making. Created two sides. The boosts are good for the game, as they'll bring more people in who otherwise wouldn't play, because they're allowed to skip the hurdle of leveling, and the people against boosters, who think about all of the bad that it'll bring. The boosters and the anti-boosters. Mm, but at what cost? At the cost of people gonna still play TBC because their own game are, are, is so is shit. At what cost? At at no cost, bro. You think people won't play TBC because there's boost? And don't worry, we'll talk about all of the bad. But again, I said that I wanted this video to be constructive. So first, I do want to talk about and acknowledge the good because people are gonna cry about it when it's it's still gonna play the game. After all, that's what a discussion is. You don't just ignore and dismiss the opposing party's viewpoint, and I ask that you do the same for me when we get to the bad. I can see a couple of benefits with the boost. I was watching Asmund last time, and he says, w One reason why he doesn't like that is like, you know, sometimes, and it's kind of true, sometimes you got too many still, you got too many spells at, the, at, the, at the, the right time, and you don't know what to do and make people bad. But to be honest, boost or not boost, People, they're still really bad people <laughs> in the game. But that was true, yeah. Watch the video. Yo, I'm gonna pause it. Do you mind? I, I cannot pause. One is just what Blizzard has in the go. fact. It will absolutely bring in people who otherwise wouldn't play. And what's better for the health of a game than more people playing it? Especially in the case of multiplayer games. It's the bandwagon effect. The more people play something, the better it looks. People see a packed Stormwind like this and they're like, Dang, this game is popular. There must be something to it. It's one of the reasons why every couple months we see- Wait, did Asmund watch this video on stream? Did he? No way, holy shit. That, how long it took, two hours? Are we watching Asmund reacting to this video then? I'm almost done. Are we? Holy shit, I'm done. I'm reacting so I can give my thoughts about what it about what Asmund thinks. 
That's gonna be a three out, yeah. Are we? See a new game just blast off into orbit. Fortskin, Among Us, and the newest one, Valheim. And someone wanna make, is gonna make a video. Payo, react to Asmund, react to this. And maybe Asmund will be reacting to me, reacting to him, reacting to the video. These games are all great in their own right, but a big part of why they're successful is this bandwagon mentality. Look at everyone having fun. I want to do that. <laughs> it's the reason why companies will pay the most popular streamers money to play their game on stream for a certain amount of time. It's a huge marketing strategy, and it works in the opposite direction as well. If hardly anyone plays a game, your first impression is that there must be something wrong with it, right? And the next point kind of goes hand in hand with point one, is that it allows people to more easily play with their friends. Maybe it's not the grind that's the issue, it's doing the grind alone, so fast tracking to 58 solves that issue. So that's the good, according to Blizzard and their official fact. They're simple, but strong this points for good. what they are. The first point I'd like to bring up for the anti-boost so is that I feel like this target audience that Blizzard set up doesn't match and is inconsistent with the restrictions that they currently have set up for the boost. And I have one short but simple question that I'd like for you to answer. If this were truly for this player who hasn't leveled yet and wants to play with their friends, why is it that those who already have level 58 characters are able to purchase it? Wait. One sec, I'm tired here. Is this true for this player who hasn't? Why is it that those who already have a level 58 character are able to purchase it? Am I being dumb to don't understand the question? All right, I, mean, I, I don't get it. Sorry, I'm tired. Uh, a bit. A bit. A bit. All right, you're done. I don't get it, though. I'm French Canadian. I don't. My let my. No, so I do. I prima ban someone for singing a bit. Is it okay? If it's truly for this player who hasn't leveled it yet, that I do understand, and wants to play with friends, I do understand. Why is it that those? already have level 58 character are able i don't get it bro man why is this that those who already have level 58 character ah oh, okay now i do understand it's a good question okay i do understand okay sorry sorry so meaning like yeah but for money obviously but i mean okay i do understand so what is so what will be the meta maybe is will be People that already have a level 60 won't be able like to boost. That's what that, that will that is trying to say. I'm learning so hard. Are you? Why? But it's for money, obviously. But yeah, that will be that will be yeah. Will they change something? Not really though. Okay, I do understand. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hmm. Really makes you think. Yeah, but the thing is, like, are you like, are you surprised of this? No, man, it's a company. Ban this guy. Oh. No, I don't care. It's okay, chat man. If your goal is at what cost? I... Why people says that? I'm not. I don't care about like. At what cost? I don't know, man. At the cost of I don't know. What is it? I I, I kind of want to watch the whole thing, man. Cause for me, like, I don't think it's gonna break the. G I feel like people think it's gonna sc scrap the game. Watch the video and you will understand. Is there a big big punch? Am I done posing it? The bots, yeah, but you think the okay, but the thing was like, you think, you think the. Sorry, I'm licking my my fingers. Is it Monkati West? That is to recreate the experience and bring in new players, while at the same time not negatively impacting the game. And 
Do you think boo okay say sorry do you think bots won't be there without boost answer to this question do you guys think without this level 58 boost the boot the bot won't be in tbc they will so like i don't know people like oh the bots will be everywhere the other bots will be anywhere no matter what bro yeah, they don't need a 58 boost to be there, bro. How many, okay, how many level 60 bots you've seen right now? Like, there's so many, bro. They're already level 60. Major way. Anybody who... Oh, they might get banned. Oh, but it's fine. They're boosting another account with this bot. <laughs> Farming ZG. You know? Already has a level 58 now on whatever server they plan on playing on has no need for a paid level boost. No, but it's true. Okay, you just Max, have to lock Max, out server. Okay, Max, 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 what does it mean? You have five seconds. I'm not even trolling. What's up? What does it mean? Bro? What does your dots mean? What does it mean? Why? Why my chat does transfers on these boosted characters obviously or else people would just bring one over to their realm i understand that blizzard is a business and they need to I, yeah I, I, okay i'm gonna go get my meal uh and don't think I'm, I'm i'm against boost or it's just i think like people making a fucking big deal but you watch the video Matt will explain yes i know and i know Matt Season, it's one of the guy Matt Season is like me he like classic he like like we're both the same we're both the same, and Mad Season is my friend. I'm not like saying like you know. Damn, pay you you paranoid. I'm not. Make money, but it doesn't need to be done at the expense of the game, which I'll be talking about throughout the course of this video. But back to my question, if your answer to it is, well, it wouldn't be fair to those who already have a 58 that they can't buy the boost. That means you're acknowledging that a paid level boost does give you an advantage. And if you really want to bring up the word fair, how is it fair that there are those who already leveled from 1 to 60 that now people can just pay to skip it? That doesn't seem very fair. And even putting that aside, if the boost does come out, there will be those who won't buy it because they just lack the disposable income. So why is it okay that you get to buy the boost if there will always be those who can? If sacrificing gameplay for convenience is an objectively superior game design, then why does Classic even exist in the first place? Is the textbook definition of the game adapting to the player instead of the player adapting to the game, which is one of the major reasons people cite for quitting current in the first place? Hey, you can't argue the fact that the game became the giant that it is today and peaked in popularity because they kept this core design philosophy in mind. It was right around here is when the growth stopped and started taking a turn for the worse. And maybe coincidentally, this is when we first saw the major cash shop services, the race change, See, and the faction change. And not just that, yeah. but also the adoption of this. That's one of the most reasons why they're going to do Wrath of the Shin, because, bro, it was their peak uh, sub for a while. Like, I was it their, their, their record for them? I don't know. And on top of that, you know, the race change and everything. Oh, they're going to make so much money with Rat. You don't have any idea. Backwards mentality that the game must adapt to the player. But I'm getting off topic here. Back to the boost. I have a second question for you as well. Again, if the goal is the overall health in the game and to bring in as many players as possible, why even charge a fee for the level boost? If it were free, wouldn't that bring in even more people? Well, then it would really be broken. May as well not even have the Eastern Kingdoms in Kalimdor at that point because it's straight to the Outland for 90% of the player base. But somehow this arbitrary dollar amount makes it okay, which is a lot to some people and nothing to others. One of the main issues I have is that you're creating an in-game advantage based off of a real-life wealth disparity. And such is the issue with in-game cash shops since in-game cash shops have existed. DMC man what is this and for my next point although it is restricted now how long is it until we see that maybe it's not one per account anymore maybe it takes you to 70 now instead of 58 I mean if you skip 57 levels why not 69 you know what guys BC classic has been on for six months at this point it's not that big of a deal why is this level boost still restricted 
While we're at it, let's just bring out the race change and faction change early. Mm. Dang, these bots are... Look at that. A real big problem. I don't know how, but ever since TBC launched with the level boost, things got really bad. Surely being able to start from level 58 had no impact whatsoever on the massive botting problems the game has That's right now. Yeah. I hope that Blizzard brings out the WoW token so players can buy gold from them instead of bots, because that always does a really good job at stopping botting, right? Kern has zero issues with bots. The big issue I have with the boost isn't necessarily even the boost itself, but rather what it'll eventually lead to. If you let your standards slip slowly but surely, I really wouldn't be surprised if we saw a WoW token in Classic at some point. Releasing the level boost gives tacit approval to put anything on the cash shop. Hey, the people want to buy things, so let's give it to them. You see this with their cloning method of moving from vanilla to BC. Without paying, you can choose to continue your character to BC or move it to a classic era server, but if you pay money, you can do both. Why does this cost money? Well, to make money of course, but more importantly, the more minor cash shop services you slip in slowly but surely, the more receptive people are to them. Like, just think about it. How do you implement cash shop services into a community that isn't very receptive to them? You slip them in, make them very minor, have these restrictions so you generate a certain amount of people who will do your work for you and try to convince everyone that it's this minor thing, you slowly but surely increase them in their severity until you're at a point where you can buy anything. You may see that as a pretty pessimistic statement. I see it as just paying basic attention to the past 15 years. The level boost, WoW token, race change, faction change services didn't just magically appear in current World of Warcraft in some patch. They were gradually slipped in there one by one as people slowly let their guard down. You know what's even the worst? I feel like it's like mid, like they're gonna they're gonna put like bed, like overpower race, so people are just gonna buy the race change. And I think this is so like kind of lame. And to be honest, I feel like racial shouldn't be able in arena. That will be that will be cool, but they will never, cause you know they they will lose money with the race change, right? But I think in arena race change shouldn't be there, like it doesn't make sense. And there was something else I wanted to remove in arena, I don't remember, but race change should not be there. Like it's it's kind of it's kind of dumb when you think about that, especially in TBC, bro. Like TBC, man, it's insane. It's insane. Like uh, the like the world of first second doesn't share the art with your trinket. It's OP. Uh, perception. I I'd rather race change over boost. Uh, I'd rather nothing, to be honest, if it will be possible. Nothing, bro. Imagine nothing. No race chain, no faction chain, no level boost, no wild token. Nothing, 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 nothing. Yeah, but... Yeah. Now we're at a point where the only thing you can't buy in the game is raid progression. And even that is a gray area because people will sell carries for gold. And obviously... What was the race? Everyone did the race change to it like troll. It wasn't BFA, the troll. What was the name of the troll? Zandalari troll. They were regening HP. Everyone did race chance to this guy. They were they were super overpowered. It's kind of I, I just think it's kind of sad that they they, they like the other said oh we're gonna we're gonna bring a new race super overpowered. Everyone gonna race chance. Okay, good. I, I think this part of, of class of retail is kind of really sad, man. But this is one of on 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 the so many other things that why make the game retail so uh, so so bad actually, yeah. You can buy gold with the WoW token. Also, as a little side note, when searching for groups in Kern, I find it pretty funny that at least 50% of the listings are done by real-life money-boosting services. I was curious, and I checked out one of the actual websites, and they have a section on why you should boost, and it's so funny that this TOS unfriendly paid service website's reasoning for boosting is remarkably similar to Blizzard's and the Pro Booster's reasonings for bringing out the level boost. So why should you buy World of Warcraft boosting services? Come on guys, the answer is simple. You'll save tons of your time and make the game more enjoyable. <laughs> Let's face it, farming slash leveling is a time-consuming and tedious activity. 
Since the early days of vanilla, players have dreaded spending countless hours doing the same things over and over to get pets, achievements, and mounts. Wait, achievements in vanilla? I call bullcorn. Here at censored website name, we don't think it. Hey, when it when does the achievement start? Is it is it is it rat or keto? I think it's rat, isn't it? It's the best way of playing the game. That's why we've yeah, started the professional WoW carry company to give you more time to play the game how you want. <laughs> this is just hilarious. So this isn't okay because you're paying some third-party website, but it is okay and apparently the best idea in the world, but only if you're paying Blizzard. That's just amazing to me. Okay? Not okay. Okay? Not okay. In fact, I think that would be a fun game. Just take excerpts out of Blizzard's fac and this website and show them to people and have them guess who's saying them. Wait a second here. I thought that if Blizzard sells you all of these services, that means websites like these don't exist. Why do they populate 50% of the listings in the group finder? Why are there so many YouTube videos of various gold farming bots in Shadowlands? I'm seeing a contradiction here. Can it be th I didn't know there's still there's still bot in, in, in Shadowlands, really? That's saving the integrity of your game. Full of bots, really? What for? For boosting, yeah? by compromising it yourself isn't as effective as people claim it to be. Right. The bottom line is... Yeah, but what's the point if you can just buy the token? Like, why there will be bought? You just... Because I don't get it. They, they, they sell it cheaper. I don't get it. No. It's the whole point of... You can't, like, Blizzard lets you buy gold. Ah, oh, they sell it cheaper. Holy shit, man. Really? Uh <laughs> Classic was to go to a time before cash shops dominated the game. It's my personal theory that they thought that Classic would just be this minor thing that isn't worth monetizing. You see that with them only releasing like 10 servers at launch. Then, oh shit, the people- You'll never get rid of- there's no way to get rid of the bot. Who are fighting to the death that Classic is dumb and- So even though they make a new MMO, in this MMO we will see bot. So basically we're gonna see bot in every single MMO. Hey, YouTube, Asmund Gold, Moonkin, but are insane, oh really? No one would actually play it, we're wrong. Who would have thought? And there are actually a ton of people who play it. There's a lot of money to be had here, but... Look, these guys hate cash shops. How do we sneak this in here? I know, let's just restrict it and use this new player as a straw man to see how receptive people are to it. One of the main issues I have with it is that they're using this poor downtrodden new player as an excuse to bring out the boost, yet it's available for purchase by literally everyone. Oh, won't somebody please think of the new players? And people either A, don't see that, or B, they're just willfully ignoring it because they want a 58 without putting in the time to get it. The slippery slope argument is overused, but it's overused for a reason. It's because it's true. I've been playing since March of 2005. I've been down this road before, and I know where it leads. I remember when they first released the Lil' KT and Pandrin pets in the cash shop mm. in Wrath, and players were worried oh, that really? this will lead Blizzard down a path where players can pay for an advantage. We were told that would never happen. Wait. I don't... I don't remember that. They start selling pet in Wrath. And look at it today. Hell, we were told that there would be no level boost in Classic just over a year ago. Gee, that lasted long. What, is TBC not Classic? Wait, I wanna see the post. Pay for an advantage. We were told that would never happen. And look at it today. Hell, we were told that there would be no level boost in Classic just... <laughs> Character boosts are not keeping in with Classic, lol. Just over... We don't want to break any... <laughs> ...over a year ago. Gee, that lasted long. What, is TBC not classic? I'm confused here. He's so right, when though. I'm told that... Okay, I know what he's gonna go for. Yeah, he's right, though. You always start with something, then after that you do this, then you do that, then you do this, then you do that, then you do this, and at this point, you you know what? It's gonna be like fucking retail. Uh, uh, that's true, though.
Oh shit, what a Dazman, yo, nothing much, we're uh, watching a video. Hey, shut up, bro, I never watch video, man, okay? <laughs> like, legit. The only reason why I'm, <laughs> the only reason why I'm watching a video is because, like, bro, I've been streaming for almost 12 hours, bro, and I was hungry. I never, yo, bro, when I react, or I just watch video, man. Oh, it's only the 58. Oh, it's only usable once. I have a pretty hard time believing it. I don't have a problem with Blizzard making money. They are a business. I did Asmund talk, I don't think so. Guys, don't stop debating me. Oh, no way! He's there! He definitely talk! He finally talk in my channel! He did it, boys. No way, bro. No way. I feel like I win the tiger or the raptor, man. Guys, he finally fucking talk in my channel. Guys, Pogger's in the chat. Bro, you took six years to talk in my channel it took six years to talk in my channel bro holy shit wow i ban you one time i ban you second time guys poggers in the lair man holy yo i was about you know what my birthday is in one month i was almost about to 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 whisper you bro asman can you please just say hi to me you know the, asman is the og uh, he's an OG follower, he's been following for 6 years It took him 6 years to say hi in the channel Guys, can we have some foggers in the lair? My god, I feel like I win the million, man I feel like I win the... Wow, alright, let's go, boys And you need to say hi when I watch a fucking video, bro Alright, let's go, foggers in the lair, bro Now, now, I'm, now I'm super happy, yeah huh? I'm always gonna do user Asmin Gold And not only I'm gonna be happy because you've been following me for a long time But I'm gonna say, yo, he, he talk in my channel it took him only six years. <laughs> Guys, can we have some poggers in the chat for Asvin? Asvin, what's up, bro? Welcome back to streaming, and uh, I hope, I hope you'll be you'll be playing uh, TBC VIP. I I I I I, give, I I I used to give him mud, but I ban him, so it removed the mud. <laughs> Yo, know, I wish I was good at you at reacting, bro. But I'm so fucking tired, man. I've been streaming. Yo, look at that, Asmin, bro. Not bad, though. Five years, six years ago, how much subs I had? Really got 6,000 subs. Almost 12 hours and everything. Love you, bro, Asmin. Guys, can I have some heart in the chat for Asmin, bro? I love you, bro. I won't lie, bro. I was pissed when you kicked me from your fucking raid, though. I was sad. My 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 heart stopped beating for a second. Fucking payo. I was... No, I'm not happy. <laughs> it's true, though. Huh? <laughs> All right, Pogger's in the chat, bro, for Asmin. Asmin, thanks for uh, for being here, man, and uh, talking finally in my channel for six years. Fucking Yo, let's go! Look at give it up. The chat is on fire, Yo, guys. Can we have some Pogger's in the chat? Asmin is in the channel, and he talk. Wow, he can talk. He can talk. <laughs> All right, look at me. I'm excited, man. Am I? Am I? Am I that? Uh, am I a fanboy? My God. I just Yo. think that they make it in ways that are destructive. We were, you know what we said before you we were there? I said, are we watching? Because <laughs> someone says, you, you watch this video on stream and there's a you reacting on, on this, on, on YouTube. I said, yo, are we watching it? Are we, re are we reacting to Asmin reacting to the video, man? <laughs> for three hours. Active now. Man. All right, they thanks for the bro. best Thank MMO you, bro. of all time, where it peaked in Love popularity you, bro, with zero cash shop. In the context of a recreation of that game, these services had no place until they were originally introduced. For example, I wouldn't have a problem with the race change and faction change in Wrath because, after all, that's when they were released. I still don't care for them, but I don't have much room to talk there. Like, can we just acknowledge that World of Warcraft is the most monetized game of all time? Let's just take a look at the different payment models for games today. You have your typical upfront I purchase. Roll, wait a second, roll. Typically the Asmin, are you still there, bro? Fucking payo. Cause at some point I, w I whispered. Why you look so good tonight, little Peo? Yo, I man, what's up? Thanks for the T one thirteen money. I appreciate that. Eddie to scope. Thanks for the five gifted sub. And anonymous. Thanks for the gifted sub to Asbun. Asbun, uh, welcome to the zoo, bro. And switch up. Thanks for the gifted sub. Yo, are you gonna stay on on Furry no, bro? Is he still there? Asbun, are you gonna stay on Furry no, bro? This is sixty bucks. <laughs> Full retail release. Oh, well, yo, my, Maybe later. I'm happy, bro. It's so funny because I, I always been saying, My god, is he gonna talk one time in my channel? It will be like so, I will be so happy. Do you have some DLC that you can buy at an additional cost? 
You also have the free to play game. And I thought people were trolling when he said like they were tagging Asmin. I said okay, because sometimes people will troll, right? I'm not sure. The reality is that because you spend. <laughs> yeah, but he's right though. Yeah, but Chata. No, but I think you show, bro, because flying mound, bro. I know, I know. Like you know what I always been saying to my chat, bro. I felt super bad whenever I was watching your stream, bro. I remember in at some point you were in Ashkawa, bro. You were doing PvP. You were just chilling. I think now there are people like, you know, 40, like a fucking 80, two raid just to gank you. And finally, when you say, okay, well, fuck this shit, bro. I'm, I'm going to rest sick. Bro, there's another raid waiting for him to rest sick. It was so sad, man. I was so, I was, I was getting pissed just to watch him play, man. Classic. So no shit. He, he wanted to uh, transfer or stop playing uh, classic. But in TBC, no, but it's not funny, though. That's the thing. Guys laugh, but it's not funny. And... But in TBC with flying mount and dude on top of that, oh, bro, le th there will be so many layering. So, uh, but anyway, do uh, do what you think is the best for you. But I think there, I think I still I see hope though for Asmin playing still on a PVP server uh, with with uh, you know the, there's so many layering. I think there will be a lot of layering flying mount. So I think it'll be good to go, bro. You also killed him, bro. Me? Mm -mm. You know, hey, Asmund, can someone gift a sub or something? You know, I, I put your, your... Oh, I can't do it here. Look, that's your voice, bro. Here. Fucking Payo. <laughs> Fucking Payo. That was in the, in the beta when he... <laughs> and what has the clip of him when he killed me, bro? And <laughs> he charged me. And after that, he bowed me and I died from his rent. He was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> I miss the sure there's no actual required custom. I, I don't think I ever kill Asmund though in the on the on the on the level 60. I don't think so. Play them instead. I never stream snipe or anything. It's Monkat US anyway. Make their money through a cash shop. They range in severity. I some never fall for cosmetic like and some give clear advantages over those who don't use it, commonly referred to as pay to win. And lastly, you have subscription based games. Of course, these are commonly MMOs. A lot of the times the game is free but you just pay a monthly subscription to keep playing it. World of Warcraft has As all three. You pay for the expansions, you pay the sub fee obviously, and it has a pretty substantial cash shop where you can buy pretty wow. much anything. Like I said, even raid progress. Did you ever see that chat? Look at Desmond Gold, man. No, thanks for the gifted sub. You guys are crazy in your mind, bro. Where's Desmond? You wanna see something? Check, user. Yo, you, Asmund, don't ever unfollow me, please, because I'm really proud of, uh, of you. Look. Yo, is there any uh, any other OG followers? Yo, 2015. Anyone beat him right now in the chat? Oh, maybe Mind Tricks. Even Mind Tricks, bro, I don't think so. 2015. Look, Mind Tricks is the very first sub. Even Mind Tricks, bro. He's the first sub. Wow. Huh? Uh, hey, hey. Hey, yo, Squishy my meat, what's up? Squishy my meat, bro. What's up? Uh, that's Monkati West, bro. Yo, Squishy, what's up? Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Yeah, or to fruit, thanks for the Prime. And Cowboy 304, thanks for the, the, the five gifted sub, man. I appreciate that. I meant thanks for the T1 13 months. And Eddie, bro, thanks for the five Damn. sub. You look stuss, one thanks for the subs, man. Okay, guys, stop with the OTK, please, man. Aggression due to the advent of carry runs. Current is current, whatever. I used to complain about it, but people told me to just quit if I didn't like it. Are you focused on what? I'm fucking tired, man. <laughs> All the work crap layer down bird rapid by running two months and <laughs> So I did, and guess what? I wasn't alone. But the whole reason why Classic exists is, again, to go back to a time before it dominated the game. And again, Blizzard saving the integrity of their game by compromising it themselves doesn't seem to work out very well. So at this point, you probably are calling me. Asmund, is your troll is your troll feel better? Do you feel better? Asmund, can you make me another favor, bro? Can you make me a favor, Asmund? Are you still there, bro? <laughs> Pessimist, but again, I just call it paying attention for the past 15 years. I'm you're not, am I based on how you've shot? acted in the past, and I'm sorry, the history is there. So if you're getting even at me for okay, saying okay. these things, just keep Am in I? mind that I wouldn't be saying them. I, w I was about to ask him if he can follow me on Twitter. I think he's abusing, though. He's not following me on Twitter. Stop abusing, but you can't follow me on Twitter now. Hi, right, bro, look at me. I, I don't want to leak what I... I uh... Uh, here, ah, 
See? Okay, I can't leak. I can't leak. Look, it's the very first one. Say first, first one. What does it mean, bro? I I'll... First one, Pokemon, the second one. I'm not sure. Okay, but here I go there and... Oh! Oh, he's abusing! Oh, he's oh, <laughs> he's abusing! He just did it, bro! He just... <laughs> Alright, bro, he just did it. He's an... Yeah, he's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro, man, you're strong. <laughs> wow, man, guys, are finally each time, bro. I was, I was, why not me, though? I was, po yeah, all hey, right, what a day, yeah, man. We get followed by Asmin on Twitter, and he talked, it took him six years. Of course, I'm a fanboy, I like Asmin, he's a great guy, bro. He's like the, he's, you know, he's the. You know, it's the, the guy, I always say that, the World of Warcraft like face kind of, right? So, yeah, of course. If Blizzard didn't do that, thanks, Asmund. First... Guys, can I have some poggers and heart in the chat for Asmund, bro? Thanks for you being nice, bro. Thank you. So, this is <laughs> yo, I don't get why you guys think that this thing, no, there's a big difference between just like respecting someone and just like being a big, big fat boy, no. Oh, I would like, yeah, now you think I'm, uh, I'm uh, doing the little, of course, I would like to see you having Asmin in your channel if you will be streaming. You'll be like, holy shit, wow, oh, poo -poo 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 -poo. Hey, you poo -poo. I'm actually doing this though, but you will be worse. <laughs> Place. Okay, thank you. So the next time you go and try to convince people how minor the boost yeah? is and how restricted it is, take a look back at the past 15 years and ask yourself a question. Are you trying to convince other people or are you trying to convince yourself? Earn three hundred dollars with the. Per okay, oh, wait, I don't get it, though. Okay, I'd next like to bring up the point that it's just paying to skip content, leveling. My love, no, but I'm kind of happy, bro. It was kind. Of, I, 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 I've been waiting six years. Tell Asmund talk in my channel. So yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, it's such I'm happy. an important thing in MMOs, classic MMOs especially, and to be able to skip it even once has this butterfly effect that Fs up so many other things. Now, before you finish your comment, I already know what you're saying. Leveling in classic isn't a big deal, because people Asmund play mages for, uh, to power uh, level them by, by, uh, Which does happen. By, for those who don't a, know, there's something in classic honor, called power you, leveling, where basically you pay a mage to run you through a dungeon, <laughs> and you just AoE everything while you sit at the entrance, AFK, Bars and collect XP. It doesn't seem like a very healthy or natural way to level, so... People use this as a reason to bring out the level boost, because we're not losing much, right? I want to see my reaction when I saw it. <laughs> I would, I would like to see my reaction when I, I noticed Asmin was in my channel. I'm pretty sure I did react the same as when I win the, the, the Tiger Mountain. is nowhere near as bad as a paid level boost. For starters, it still takes time and money. The people who power level are players who already have a main character it, on bro? the Can server. I see my reaction? Or can those who buy gold, it? who should be actioned by the way because, you know... Biggest reaction than the Tiger Mount? Is that true? There's no way. I want to see. In one... Blizzard can't afford to pay someone to level them from 10 to 50 a. The thus leveling remains to be an important thing that they must progress through just it? like everyone else. Number two is that if we're in agreement that power leveling and the resulting emptier world and emptier leveling experience is such a big issue, why would we destroy I any chance of restoring it by giving people the option of paying real life money to skip it? It's a contradictory argument. There will always be people who dislike leveling, even if mage power leveling didn't exist. There will always be a fastest method, but even if everyone was naturally in the world, as there were in all 4 to 07, there still be those willing to pay to skip it. And a tank to now tanks to. Tank they are a business. I did Asmund talk? I don't think so. Guys, don't stop debating me. <laughs> no, you can't tell I'm sad, bro. <laughs> you can't tell, okay? Yo, but because people used to treat me, man. Hey, Asmin, I hope you see this. Bro. It's like, they it's... are a business. <laughs> I did Asmin talk? I don't think so. Guys, don't stop debating me. Oh, no way! He's there! He definitely talked! <laughs> he definitely <laughs> talked in my channel! He did it, boys. No way, bro. No <laughs> way. I feel like I win the tiger or the raptor. <laughs> I need to buy. <laughs> I 
and I guarantee you that they existed back then because I played the game back then. However, they were stonewalled back then because it wasn't designed around a level boost. And I'll That's provide many examples of why of in this video. <laughs> Leveling has become more of a minor thing in modern MMO design. But players who oh, want yeah, that yeah. have modern MMOs to play. I like I thought the whole I like the way I said stop debating me, like I'm about to cry, man. <laughs> yeah, I sound so sad, bro. The <laughs> point was to go back to a time before the modern MMO. Some changes, such as the pre-nerf bosses for increased difficulty, I can understand. As players grow in skill and knowledge, you have to adapt to recreate that experience. But a level boost to me isn't adapting to anything. Yeah, I'm go it's trading money for go. time for those who want something, but don't want to put in the time to get it. If you see dungeon power leveling as a big enough issue to use it to rationalize a paid boost, you're not interested in the betterment of the game. You're just interested in fast-tracking yourself because a paid boost doesn't solve the problem. It avoids it. Some people say that dungeon power leveling will be fixed since TBC introduced the AoE cap. Blizzard noticed how powerful AoE was back then, so they limited the total overall damage of several AoE abilities. I personally don't think that that itself would fix it, because they missed a big one. Sorry guys, I got some a lot of sub. I was just really excited that Aswin was talking. Uh, Rapachi, thanks for the four months. Luke Stokes, thanks for the one squish. Yawur, thanks for the prime. And we got some gifted, uh, you know, uh, Cowboy and Eddie, thanks for the five gifted sub. Man. I really do appreciate that. One, and that's the Paladin's Consecrate. I think go... that it would require further attention, go such so as an XP nerf when there's a high level disparity within the party. Dead, it is already reduced, but clearly with the strategy of these dungeon runs, it's not enough. This would be another change, of which there are many with TBC Classic, that would bring the game closer to what it was back then, not further away. Ah. My take is that Thank if you, one truly me. cares about the leveling and the old world, this is the route that you go down. I do think that some people overstate it, and they make it out like literally everyone dungeon power levels to 60. That's just not true. In fact, ever since the announcement of TBC Classic, natural world leveling has seen a resurgence. People are leveling characters in preparation for the Burning Crusade, which, spoiler alert, that's how the game was designed. And guess what? This all disappears as soon as you release the level boost. I just don't get the argument that leveling isn't a big deal because no one is out in the old world. So let's introduce a paid service that further reduces the amount of people in the old world. Can we Why did I ban Asmund just for fun, bro? <laughs> just for a troll, bro. I'll agree that a paid boost is the definition of rubbing salve on a tumor. If there's an issue with leveling, mad, you should fix the leveling, yeah, not introduce talking, a way yeah. to pay to skip it. That's the most destructive game design I've ever heard in my life. Like I said, the community at this point is open to changes, and if we truly care about the leveling experience in the game, we would address the disease rather than the symptoms. And not to stay on the same subject too much, this video is about paid boosts, not dungeon power leveling. I just have one final point here though, because again, this is the most common argument I see to bring in boosts. My last point is the fact that the two of them are just inherently different. Power leveling ultimately is a service. You're paying someone in-game currency to do something yeah, for you in-game. You note, see this all I'm the gonna... time with people selling tanks. I'm too much excited that the fact that Asmund uh, did come, so I don't, I, I don't even uh, listen. Guys, I'm gonna go sleep. Too much excited. Oh, look at that, boys. Look at that, though, boys. Are we just... Nah, but it's not, no, no, it's not Asmund. Like, it's, 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 I'm me. I'm dead, too, guys. I've been streaming for 12 hours, but I'm gonna go with people selling tanking services. Some industrious players noticed a shortage of tanks in the game, so they offer their tanking services and knowledge of a dungeon in exchange for gold. People will sell summons for gold to save time for others, and while these services themselves are up for debate, the fact that it's an exchange between players is a natural and healthy part of the economy. And while I do think that power leveling brings more bad than good, at least it's a service that you buy from another player with in-game currency. You're not swiping your credit card and paying Blizzard to skip a core part of the classic MMORPG genre. Fixing the leveling instead of neglecting it would do so much good for the game at the same time because it helps with another issue, and that's a botting. Anyone who's played Classic before will tell you that one of its biggest problems is botting. 
they're everywhere, and whatever Blizzard has been doing for all of Classic has not been enough because they're pumping an absolutely ridiculous amount of gold into the economy. Everything is inflated, they fund third-party gold-selling websites. It's bad, and the level boost, I believe, will make it worse. Let me explain why. One of the puzzling things about bots, people will often tell you, is that they're so obvious. Gee, there sure are a lot of guildless hunters with gibberish names running around. Here's a pretty popular spot in Duskwood on my server. If you go here, usually you'll find a bot, and you can tell instantly. They repeat the same exact patterns, snap to enemies. So, if they're so obvious, then why are they also so plentiful? Well, I'll tell you one of the reasons at least. Because of power leveling, there aren't enough people out in the world to find and report them. I don't think it's a coincidence that when power leveling started to become a norm is when the bots started taking over, and bringing out a paid level boost doesn't bring more people out into the world, it takes them away. So now my idea of nerfing dungeon power leveling sounds a bit better because not only are you bringing people back into the world this way, but you're also recruiting more boots on the ground to actually report them and ban them before they do any significant damage. I'm not saying you would catch every bot, there are bots that level through dungeons, but there are still a ton that level in the old world, and you'll find them if you just look. But none of this happens if the level boost comes out because it allows so many people to just skip past all of this. And if these people would otherwise not play if they were forced to level through the old world, what kind of gameplay experience are we creating here? Everyone just skips straight to Outland, the bots continue to run unchecked, and we don't fix the leveling, we ignore it. While we're on the subject of bots, let's tackle the more obvious issue. If you think that they're bad now, what a week to level high. What? Oh, I'm full cam. Sorry. What flavor? Try to guess. It's kind of... Hey, look at my hands, bro. They are so dry, bro. This is because, like, they are... So... It's insane. I need to stop washing my hands, bro. It's gross as fuck. <clears throat> I know it's cause it, it's cu I, it cut cause it, they are so dry that yeah and I put like all that old man ends yeah I know <laughs> sorry bro no I put I know it's disgusting bro it's cause I wash in too much time it's insane bro it's uh, by the way it's um, jalapeno mm. enough I'm sure it depends on the bot and its efficiency give or take a couple days maybe. But that time spent leveling is time spent leveling. AK you know what's fun on 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 private server, on us on Australia's you will, I, I I wouldn't see butt like this, bro. Correct me if I'm wrong. There was no power level as well. If I remember, wasn't it? They were but oh, they were but. Were... Ka not farming gold. Someone on Reddit actually did the math, which I'll derive from here because they actually made a mistake, but they were on the right track. Assuming 10,000 bots across the game, making 1 gold per hour while leveling, if it takes each bot 200 hours to get to level 58, which I think is a fair estimate, that's 2 million gold and 2 million hours of botting. However, bringing in the boost, you're already at gold farm bot status, and at this level, maybe you farm 100 gold per hour. So <laughs> I like that. <laughs> So let's take that. It's fucking. When you think about that, it's really lame, though. Two hundred hour investment. Now you've gone from two million gold to two hundred million gold. But what's that? I hear you say the boost costs money. Well, yeah, they do. But again, using the same post, let's assume gold sells for fifteen dollars per thousand gold. So that's thirty thousand dollars from gold farmed from one to fifty-eight. And with boosts, this is three million. Assuming that the price of the boosts are forty dollars. Which I think is also fair, that's a $400,000 investment, and you take that away from 3 million from the money earned from botting at 58, you're netting 2.6 million. It's 86 times more effective than leveling from scratch. Jeez, those goblins weren't kidding. Time is money, friend! And just so you know, I'm doing you a favor here and assuming that people will pay full retail price for the boost anyways, which won't happen. I won't speak too much of it, but there's a way that's been around for all of Vanilla Classic where people can basically get accounts for $4 a month. And assuming that the boost is 40 bucks still, it's actually around $8 using this method. Which most assuredly will happen because it's been- Is there anyone else that didn't get too much thing here? I wish I could like react.
I did, but I, I don't get it. Am I dumb for what's up? Me? Okay, phew, thank you. Huh. Yo, big shout out to Uncle Tattoo. Is there anyone else? Same, okay, nice, my god. I was like, god damn it, bro. Do I need to say something? Can I see Asman Go react to this? What do you say after that? Does he? Let me see. I want to see. I want to see Asman Go react to this. I don't want to. Does he? For sure, Asman has like a five head. Asman, react to boost. I don't get anything. But Asman, trust me, he did. Yeah, okay, you see? Okay. I want to see. What do you guys think? Because I know he react to it. Okay, so we all thanks. Because I, I, I didn't get. I don't get it, though. Uh, oh, shit. So I don't see my dashboard, though. Where is it? I right, wait. I can I can see. I'm dumb. Wait, Twenty nine minutes. Fifty. My God, bro, it's so. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah. I I don't see my dashboard, man. How come? Okay, do you guys think he did? Okay, let's see. Twenty. 29. I want to see if he do, he says something about it. Okay, let's see. Of leveling. Oh, see. You can just. Make the money immediately. Wow. Thousand dollars from gold farmed from one to fifty-eight, and with boosts, this is three million. Assuming that the price of the boosts yep. are forty dollars, which I think is also fair. That's a four hundred thousand dollar investment, and you take that away from three million from the money earned from botting at fifty-eight, you're netting two point six million. It's eighty-six times more effective. Ah, oh, see, he's not sure. Yeah, see, he's not sure too. Do, is he, does he know? Yeah, he's not. <laughs> he's not sure too. I'm not, okay. Even as many doesn't know. <laughs> I know he does. <laughs> you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he does, bro. Than leveling from scratch. Ah, see. <laughs> Jeez. Those... Wow. Oh, he does know. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is really, really fucking good. Um. I think this is what happens whenever you have, like, for example, you have these boosts, it makes it so much easier for people to just get up to the max level and not have to worry about it at all. Uh, it, it's actually crazy. Because, like, if you can just boost up, you don't have to amortize the value of leveling. You can just make the money immediately. Goblins weren't kidding. This I is money, friend. I still don't get it, man. My god, am I dumb? I don't know, chat, man. I'm tired. Away from three million from the money earned from botting at 58, can basically get accounts for four dollars a month. And assuming that the boost yeah, is 40 it, bucks like... still, it's actually around eight dollars using this method. I don't get it either. Which okay, cool, most thanks, assuredly guys, will happen because it's been happening for the past year and a half. But regardless of all of that, there's no way that you can argue that starting off at level 58 doesn't give these bots an enormous head start. At least if they level, you do have time to catch them and stop them before they do any damage. At 58, it's straight into the Blackrock Depths, or just 12 levels for some Outland bot farm. The response to this is usually, well, they won't be able to sell that much gold. Well, putting the argument that the defense against this is that bots will be able to farm so much gold that they won't know what to do with it. Overall, what, what's wrong with Overall, what about no, they pay for a boost, they are going to make more money. Aside, I can't help but feel we have a failure of understanding economics here. The more gold that's in the economy, the less it's worth. 200 million is a lot of gold until it is eventually injected into the economy, which it will slowly but surely because the purchase price will be driven down as it loses value, and sooner or later you're in a situation where 1000 gold now is eventually worth 100 gold, then 10, then 1. Yeah. Now you can farm your epic flying training by mining in Nagra. The thing though is like, yeah, yeah, that, the butt with all the layering, and imagine like the fresh start and all the butt with all the layering, all many, nah, it's going to be kind of monk man. Yeah, you know, all the herb thing and yeah. I think it's going to be even worse in TBC because in classic, they need to level and everything. Now they're already ready to, to pump and yeah, it will be, I think it's going to be really disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. 
No. And for a day, because the ore sells for 50 gold yeah, to pop. You never have to worry about repairing, or any of the other gold sinks developed to naturally keep the economy in check. It's just one example of probably a hundred of why the game wasn't designed for a level boost, at least in the context of how botting has overrun Classic. A lot of people argue this point, saying that, oh, it's too late, the bots have already taken over, so the level boost making it worse won't make a difference. But this, again, gets into that same issue with power leveling, why is it that your first response is to immediately give up? Classic is a game that's much more affected by the economy. Just look at Vanilla. You can gear up a pretty decent character just through the auction house. You have things such as the Lionheart helmet, Edge Master's handguards, Titanic leggings, Cloud Keepers. Consumes, I'm sure you know by now, play a huge role in Vanilla rating. And this is still true for the Burning Crusade. Storm Herald, Lionheart Executioner, Spellcloth. And it's not just item availability on the auction house, but rather item availability elsewhere. In current, you can get gear from raiding on four difficulties, Mythic Plus, which are spammable infinitely, and to a lesser extent world quests, your order hall, PvP gear that's still effective in PvE. There are many more ways, often way more cost effective, to gear your oh, character. Right, and since all of the gear in current is basically the same, since it only has four secondary stats that are useful for... It doesn't look that good though, but it's a pasta with uh, shrimp in it, bro. Bro, I'm fucking hungry, man. Hey, wait, is it more cat US to eat like Doritos before your meal? I was too much hungry, I couldn't wait. For every spec, really, who wants to pay hundreds of thousands of gold for an item when there exists 20 clones of it in other... Okay, but the thing though, I, I do understand the butt thing and everything, but... Even without boost, you will see a shitload of butt at the launch of re of of, uh, of TBC. Your activities in classic BC, it's raiding or crafting and PvP oriented gear only from PvP. You have much more power in gearing up and buffing your character through gold compared to current, so None it's all the more reason to treat it as delicately as possible. In this aspect, to me, the level boost is the equivalent of letting a bull loose in a china shop. I know what you're thinking. And not just with botting, by the way, but also with transmutes, which will serve as an indirect way of buying gold, but we'll discuss that later. For now, let's just stick on bots. So, botting is a big problem. If they've been ineffective in controlling it for the past year and a half in no, vanilla, it's so what makes oh, yeah. you think that... If we move all the immersion, man, it's so bad, to be honest. But sadly, I don't think Blizzard will never do something about it. Like, it, it's, it's it, like there's too many. There's too many. And on top of that, you can ban evasion on uh, with Blizzard. And usually you cannot ban evasion. Like Twitter, you cannot ban evasion. Twitter, you get banned. You cannot make another account. Same thing on Twitch. Twitch, you get banned as a streamer, perma ban. You cannot make, you cannot ban evasion. But on, 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 on Blizzard, if you get banned your account, you can just buy another one and it's fine. So what will help, what will help the bot is just stop the ban evasion. But they won't, because of money. But I think, yeah. Bad evasion will be, yeah. But... Uh, They'll magically be more effective in the Burning Crusade. I don't think... This is really sad, yeah. I've heard the word bot once no, not in this year's no, I mean, like... at all. But the boost has the potential to turn it from big to huge. And Blizzard will have to... I feel like if someone gets banned for botting, they shall be banned almost forever. Yeah. Like IP ban or something, yeah. Private soul compared to you, is it that loud, chat? I don't think it's, I think it's fine. To patch in a new zone for the outland called Zimbabwe. And I'm telling you right now, if this paid boost comes out and the players who use it aren't put under 10 times the amount of scrutiny as other players, this is exactly what'll happen. There are a lot of farms that you can do right from 58. You can even do them while uh, naked, putting old world materials aside because they will still have value unless they release the profession boost token. You have things such as BRD pickpocketing, to name just one. Oh, yeah, that's so in lame. fact, let's have a little exercise. Yeah. Go in game and do slash who rogue Blackrock depths, and tell me how ah. many guildless rogues you see in their twenty four seven. It's it's so lame, man. Is it? Yeah, yeah. But this video, I think, it should be more like the 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 butts or something like the meaning like. He talk, I feel like he talk more, he talk about the boost a lot, but he talk, it's like, it's, it's, yeah, it's a bud, but I feel like boost or not, 
You will see the same thing in TBC. That's the thing. Can I can I call that season? I like him a lot though. He's a nice great guy. Are we calling him? No, it's true though. Trust me, botters right now are just rubbing their hands looking at the paid boosts. Gee. Do you know who is this guy? <laughs> He's so funny, bro. You know who is this Four guy? Seven. Trust me, botters <laughs> right now are just rubbing their hands looking at the paid boosts. Gee, thanks for saving me the trouble of leveling. We can get straight to it now. And let's be honest here, this issue goes beyond botting. Oh, hey, hey dude. Why did, I've never seen this type of wall jump before. What the fuck? Wait. In general, cheaters, if the time investment for re-entry is short, are more likely to so cheat. Lame, bro. Yeah, getting banned would suck, but if you can just buy another 58 and get right back into it, it's not as big of a deal. Um. Okay, now I get. Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah. No, that's true. Though. Yeah, that's why the boo's gonna be even. Okay, I, I didn't think this way. Though he's right now. Yeah, see, someone says, Peo, finish the video, you'll understand. Just this makes sense. I forgot about this, yeah. Get banned? Okay, I get a boost. YOLO. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. I forgot about this, yeah. Well, guy, we're gonna be investigated by... We're gonna have so many. It's gonna be like bugs, man. We're gonna see bugs everywhere. And, and, and it's gonna be gross, bro. And, and you know what sucks, man? It's even like... And like the zone are more small, they're, they're, they're not, not many, so bro, there will be so many everywhere. It's gonna be so lame, man. If you think you see bots right now, it's gonna be even worse than yeah. Yeah, so that makes sense. He's right though. So like at least if you wouldn't see a boost, well, they will whenever they get banned, well, bro, you need to do it one to seventy. Good luck. But well, now with the boost, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be so bad, man. But like, I'm still gonna play, but yeah, for sure, uh, yeah, it sucks. Cheaters are bad enough, but now we're setting up an even more ideal environment for them. Maybe it's just me, but don't you think it's possible that we're going in the wrong direction here? They've been fly hacking for a week now. I've been watching them for over a week, and I've reported them. And a week later, they're still here. You know, maybe if Blizzard would have shown that they were capable of actually controlling botters, teleport hackers, speed hackers, fly hackers at a reasonable level, that would be one thing. But the simple truth is, they didn't. They Botting care. and cheating hasn't been addressed in several months. Not one peep from BlizzCon. So how's the community supposed to have any level of confidence that this level boost won't take an already huge problem and amplify it yeah, ten times gonna... over? Let's tackle the next time. Obstacle. I've now realized that I've done this video out of order because this should have been one of the first things I mentioned. That's the fact that doesn't it just seem unhealthy to you that in a game with 47 zones, that 90% of the player base is loaded into just 7 of them? Yeah. Leveling serves as a barrier for more than just gold. That's what I just said, no? Making. It's a way to spread players around the world. I thought that one of the biggest appeals of MMOs is that it's this online sprawling world where no matter what time it is, someone is clearing through the crypts of Duskwood or skulking through the jungles of the Stranglethorn Vale. Again, another reason why dungeon power leveling has hurt the game. Yeah, What's more though, to up. solve this, we shouldn't introduce a way to skip it more effectively. We should fix it by actually fixing it. But again, the boost just completely destroys that and everyone immediately goes through the dark portal. Some people say that because Draenei and Blood Elves are restricted that this won't happen, which will be true yeah. in the pre-patch when they're released. Uh, to be honest, I was, I was not sure too, like, who is this guy? The, the Raptor? There's gonna be a ton of old world activity. I like to use ejaculation as an analogy though. There's this initial burst of, uh, activity. But then DR kicks in extremely quickly, and before you know it, you're shooting blanks. The sperms are all paladins and shamans, and shortly after this, much like my sex life, the old world will die. And again, how long do you really think that these restrictions <laughs> will stick? The old world is a part of BC. Wait, Even more people got this notion single? that just because BC comes out, that the old world suddenly doesn't exist. We're all it's single, vanished bro. out of thin air. This is the world of Warcraft, not the world of Outland. And even putting the unhealthiness of 40 zones becoming ghost towns aside, this causes other issues with layering. If you thought that layering was bad in vanilla classic yeah. launch, 
Wait until you see your entire yeah. server with boosts loaded directly. In oh, it's, it's gonna be gross, man. I don't even know. It's, dude, I don't even know. They must be afraid of this. You know what's funny? On 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 Blizzard on on, on the BlizzCon, they didn't talk about it. But guess why? Because I'm pretty sure they're they're not sure all the fuck they're gonna do it and how it's gonna make like yeah it's gonna yeah oh yeah you'll see oh you'll see at least twenty layers. It's gonna be gross as fuck, bro. Into an expansion that's one tenth the size of its predecessor. This part will happen regardless at launch. But the point I'm trying to make here is that having people in the old world actually level right, will help. Shit, so, yeah. By bringing out the paid boost, you're just adding on top of it. Outland, I wouldn't be surprised no, if on the higher discount. population. Yo, bro, you know what? Oh, is it, yo, bro, Ga anyone play on Ganis right now? For some reason, for like several like weeks, two weeks, man, Ganis. Stormwind is always laggy as fuck. Can it's I insane. have something in the lair? Maybe some progress. I don't know why. It's and it's really annoying. Like even sometimes it's it's like two in the morning or it, it's midnight. But why? Since like two or one or two weeks, it's super. It's it's getting super laggy. Like I I, I don't get it. It's 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 kind of triggering me. In servers, it reaches like thirty layers. No joke. Which is an or issue. Is the same. I don't feel like it's lagging in in the in the in the in the furry north. Side. For me, because how am I ever gonna get on Asmon layer now? On a serious note, though, can I get an invite to Kazakh on layer thirty-two, please? Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna be yeah, yeah, that's gonna be Monka. Yeah, but at this point, what you so that what they can do is just like make more server with less people. I don't know, bro. But yeah, that's gonna be. You know what? This shouldn't be wall bust style. Maybe remove some of the, the layers. It's gonna be. That will be really fucking disgusting. Oh yeah, and I, oh my god, I will need to download again like this add-on that you know show what with what layer you are in and blah blah blah. This is, I this wasn't that good, but I did abuse of the layering too, though. You know, remember Chad, whenever we were leveling, I was changing layer, I was mining, I got to level three hundred at level forty six or something. No, maybe not forty six, but. You know. My next point is, what target audience are we really trying to get here? So again, Blizzard's reasoning yeah. behind it are these players who want to play with their friends, but they won't if they're forced to level through the old world. Again, leveling is an important thing in classic MMOs. Just because there are players who dislike it doesn't mean it's a yeah, bad thing that shouldn't be in the game. It's the, re the way to remove the layering, they should have done m more server with less people in it. What do you guys rather do? Playing on a server with less people in it? Or playing with a big server with a shitload of layering. I think I think it's better like back then. A uh, server with 300 max finally. Uh, or give us like a huge server. But without lag. With, without layering. But that will never happen actually. And to be honest. I don't think we'll be able to see like a TBC. At, even, okay at the start we're going to see layer for sure. Even though after one or two months. Whenever people got their level 70. Are we going to be able to see. A TBC without layering, like we we see right now, a classic without layering. What do you guys think? I don't think so. We'll see at least two or three layer. There's no way. Like people will like to go farm in elemental plateau. Uh, will like there's not like there's only seven zone like he says. Yeah, zone will be packed. So I I think I think sadly we will see a TBC with with layering tile forever forever. Nah, not on the big server. I don't think so, bro. Is TBC gonna be fun? Yeah, for sure. But for how long? I don't know. I think the Outworld is gonna be super Monkati West. But the arena will be fun. The raiding will be fun. But it's gonna be the Outworld, man. The Outworld will be Monkati West. Certainly become less important in the current game because more of the content is focused on that end game. There are a ton of different things to do in endgame and current, sometimes too much in my opinion, and leveling is more of a side attraction at this point. I mean, look how fast you can do it with Pokemon pet battles. If you hustle through questing through a starting zone, and then you knock out the rest through pet battles, you can get into Shadowlands in under four hours, and that's anybody. As long as you have a couple good max level pets, you can, anyone can get out into Shadowlands in four hours. If you hustle. This is a little outdated as it's been nerfed. I think it's now closer to 8 to 12 hours. But damn, that's pretty good with never even having to enter combat. 
Clearly, Loveling has turned from this major thing to a complete side attraction that may as well not even be in the game as far as I'm concerned. To start everybody at level 50. So it's no surprise that all of these retail players are coming in, then looking at the old world, and they're like, fuck that button because it's more of a major thing that makes it even more damaging if you're able to skip it via a level boost. And that's the key point here. Current is built in a way that leveling is a side attraction. Let's just compare the end game of oh. Shadowlands to the Burning Crusade. In Shadowlands you have Torghast, the Ma, oh. raids on four difficulties, mythics, world quests, PvP of course. How many Torghasts you guys didn't need to get bored of it? I feel like Torghast was a job. I it's insane. It's kind of funny. I I felt like I I you know I had a, you know I used to have a job before streaming. I didn't like my job. Every time I will go there, I feel like oh shit man, I don't feel like it, bro. It was the same thing for Torghast. Usually you play a video game for having some fun, but Torghast was like I wasn't have fun in it, man. It was no, but for real, it was so lame, man. And I, I had to do this because guess what? If you don't do it, well, just too bad. You're not getting your legendary, bro. And wait, yo, you gotta do it because you got. You're not, it's so, what the fuck was that, man? I think I had fun, my Torghast, the one, two, or three. I, 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 at the start, it was fun. Oh, I'm getting like spell. And at some point, the more I do, the more I was like, holy shit. And the, the, la three sur Sunday. I would say la three sur Sunday. The, the, the cherry on the, the whatever the fuck you want. How you say that? Is at some point, hey, you can have your mount in, in the mo. No way! Nice! Finally, what I have to do, you need to do a Torghast with like 68 floor. <laughs> How much? Oh, it was 144! <laughs> <laughs> and this <laughs> like bro is this is this bro is this a joke i'm wondering who had this idea man hey we're gonna be able to put a mount in the mo oh really what should they they will like to do they will need to do a torgas with 144 floor oh good idea let's go like what the fuck man no I don't know about retail, to be honest. Of course, your order hall, along with its own currency system, right. the renown system, story quests, achievement hunting, pet, transmog, and mount collecting, and I'm sure more that I'm missing. In the Burning Crusade, you have PvP, heroics, raids, and the attunement for the raids. That's it. So, where am I getting with all of this? Well, where I'm getting at is that the boost is designed for modern MMO gaming, where leveling is more of a distraction. It was not designed for a game where leveling is a bigger chunk of that game's content because there wait, isn't wait. as much end game. Wait, I didn't even see. I want to see this though. Where am I getting with all of this? Well, where I'm getting at is that the boost is designed for modern MMO gaming where leveling is more of a distraction. It was not designed for a game where leveling is a bigger chunk of that game's content because. Okay. Bro, there's two red though. But there's no heroic in classic though. Oh, TBC, my god, sorry, sorry, sorry. So there isn't as much end. And the pet battle too, bro. Game to keep the players busy. Thus, you're letting people skip a huge part. Money, money change Blizzard, actually. Sadly, when you think about that. Money change Blizzard. Money change the game, right? Yeah, sadly. Part of the game in the context of the classic. Ah, uh, yo, before activation. Fuck off, bro. Okay, activation was when, when? No, no. It was before activation. Fuck off. Activation was what? BFA, maybe? Oh, it was Kato? What? Are you kidding me? No way. Is that long? Oh shit, I didn't know then. You're right. Why would they sell their part of, of thing though when, when a TV Radley was on their peak? 
MMORPG, and you're sending a message that the game begins at the high levels, and the leveling is indeed this unimportant distraction that's meant to be skipped oh, over. Hi. Mm, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Okay. That makes sense. They sell when they are at their peak. Because they know it's going to go down, maybe? Will that make sense? I know exactly what they did. They, they, they sell like a little bit of their parts or something, right? You finally play the game. So you want to see something? Here. Um... Just one more dispel before bed. There are players who, because they find the leveling experience in current dull, maybe they think it's ridiculous that you can level to 50 in one day of pet battles, so they come to Classic instead to fill that void. And if the first thing they see is a paid level 58 boost, how is this player going to react? I know that many of you just refuse to believe it, but there are players who actually enjoy the leveling in Classic. People are already nostalgic of Classic's launch. Even though it was only a year and a half ago, everyone seems to mention how awesome it was to see so many people leveling up. When the world is active like this, you feel like you're part of this big experience. Working with others, competing against others, it feels like... a game. Crazy, huh? And when you and your friends hit 60, you have this sense of accomplishment. And when you know that people can just pay for it, what's the point? With a level boost, your accomplishment is that you swiped a credit Pokemon, card, clicked a button, and generated a level 58 do, template. Do, do, do. Whoa, oh, what yeah. a journey. Someone better tell Joker and his world record has been broken. Oh, oh, Look how fast yeah. I can level. And what's Pokemon. more, if we're talking Yo, about this the, casual uh, player, which again is the target demographic according sense, to please. Blizzard, the casual player's game time is much more heavily favored in leveling. They don't raid nor PvP as much, so if they can't be bothered with the leveling, they may as well not even be bothered with the game, period. I'm all for bringing in more players for the health of the game, but the target demographic for the boost is so skewed and contradictory. It brings a negative element that everyone has to deal with for a demographic that I predict won't even stick around anyways. The idea is that they want to buy the boost because leveling is too time-consuming, or maybe it's too grindy or unfun, well, those players are in for a surprise, because if they can't level from 1 to 58, how in the F are they even going to finish the attunement to these raids in the Burning Crusade? The attunement for BC is absolutely huge. If we're talking pre-nerf here, to attune to the Black Temple, you have to attune to Mount Hyjal, and to attune to Mount Hyjal, you have to attune to Serpent Shrine and Tempest Keep. Well, to attune to the Tempest Keep, I you wasn't have to complete listening. a lengthy quest chain that requires you to clear through four heroes. All right. He is right. What did he say? I wasn't listening. Sorry, I'm getting so tired. And I shouldn't be. I should, I'm not saying this because it's boring. Like I like Mad Season. Mad Season video is one of my favorite, like by far. You want to see my favorite video? Just real quick. Just you want to see something? You want to see something? Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! I just want to see this part. This part. This part. You want to see this part? Watch out! Watch Impossible out. because. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Can I just show guys? Sorry, I need to show it. It's so good. No, no, we we gotta show. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After we go back. Watch out, you guys ready? Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Redux, I'm gonna perma ban you for at least two weeks. Okay? Are we okay, PP? Because you're annoying me today. Can I perma ban you? Are we? Oh, if someone says yes. I, anyone else got got? No, for real though. Look at your uh, today. No. Okay. Liko, go to bed. Blah blah blah. Cheese. Ban me. Ah, really? All right. Okay, I won't ban you with us, but can you stop being lame, man? What the fuck?
I fell over. Watch out. Oh, guys, he's crying. I make him cry. No, wait, are you crying for real? God damn it. Guys, can I have some PPNs in the chat? Watch out, watch out, it's not over, it's not over, it's not over, it's not over. It's not over. Watch out, it's not over. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. I have planned will not be jeopardized. Oh. Now you will taste true power. Watch out. Watch out. Soon, the heart of your world will be no more. Hey, yeah, I know it's so loud. Someone says it's so loud, it has to be loud. Okay? Shut up. I'm gonna show you a trick real fast. Sorry, I'm 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 turning off some people. There's the thing you have, okay? It's here. You go there. And you do this, okay? You can do this, and then you shut the fuck up. Fucking okay. Hell. Are we good? Can I keep going now? Nice tea, bro. I'm too loud. Shit. I'm too loud. I'm too high. Too... Wedox, be careful. Huh? This man doesn't joke around. Yeah. I have been banned for exactly 31 days now. Oh. Him alone. Him scared. Him anxious. <laughs> Him naked. Oh, Him why? Cold. Yo. Him not very sure. Yeah, scary, Can yeah. you free me, Payo? No. Ill behave. Okay, well. <laughs> Ill <laughs> Yo, Zeldo, by the way. Yo, Zeldo, thanks for the T111 months. One sec. Are you guys ready? This is the best, the good part. Are you guys ready? Let's go. What's up guys, Matt Season here. Today, I'm gonna talk about TBC. <laughs> <coughs> hey guys, what's up, Matt Season? <laughs> wait, did I, wait, did I, <laughs> did I go this way? It wasn't fun. It was <laughs> Please, you clip, <laughs> you clip it, I need to shoot it. All right, bro. Okay, so bro, all, all good, all good. So <laughs> he's being silly, you know. Yo, that season is my friend, bro. Come on. All right, dude. I need someone, though, bro. Someone clip it. I need to show to a mad season. He's gonna think it's super funny, bro. All right, let me finish this thing with you guys. All right, you guys like heroic it, boys? Dungeons of four factions. But to zone into the heroic dungeons, you have to grind these four factions to revered. And to zone into Serpent Shrine, you need to attune to Karazhan. And to attune to Karazhan, you have to complete another lengthy quest chain. 
You know what I mean? Remember, they also nerfed leveling a little bit in BC. Each level requires about 15% less experience compared to vanilla, so I think the 1 to 58 grind is comparable to a tuning in BC. Go guys, let's go. Honestly, leveling is go, probably go, go, more go, time consuming, but I think it's in go. the same league. Hey, we and even putting that aside, the raids in BC Ooh. might be let's pretty go, damn tough. Guys. It was confirmed hey, that we're getting oh, the pre-nerf hey, versions oh, of these oh. bosses, okay, guys, which went unkilled by like 99% of the player base back then. Oh, this this demands so even more knowledge and even more time in building your character What's properly, that? understanding each oh, boss fight and its mechanics. And furthermore, especially in the context of re-releases, we all agree that Classic's worst enemy is stagnation, right? Eventually you will quote complete the game and run out of stuff to do. It's unique in the fact that it's an MMO with a planned end, at least that's what everybody's been telling me for the past two years. So why now is it suddenly okay to start paying to skip content and move people along more quickly to that finish line? If you're rationalizing a level boost because it takes a lot of time for someone, you're directly developing against one of the biggest weaknesses of your game. It'll cause players to finish the game faster, and therefore it will stagnate faster than it otherwise would have if the level boost wasn't part of the design. If someone won't play TBC Classic because they don't have enough time to level or they think it's too grindy, a level boost just delays the inevitable because other very basic things in BC are extremely time consuming and grindy. So I ask again, who's this boost for? For people to just level up to 70 and then quit once they hit the attunement? Your response might be that, well, what's the problem then if you're just gonna quit? Surely that doesn't affect you, does it? Well, well no, it piece. doesn't, but all of this other stuff in this video does. So, I answer your question with another question. If nothing is gained but money for Blizzard, then why does it exist? It only brings the bad stuff in that case. But maybe the problem isn't starting from scratch. Maybe the problem is starting from scratch behind everyone else. Maybe the reason why people want to skip leveling is so they can just get in there and play with their nah, friends, yeah. which after all is the whole point of multiplayer games. Of course, grinds are always more fun with buddies, right? I get the question, is it too late to start Classic all the time because, oh, yeah. understandably so, it sucks to pick up the game when everyone is level 60 and all geared out. People don't want to how many times I get this fucking question? Do I'm so bored of it? Hey, pay was it too long? Is it too? No, it's not. What do you want to play anyways? Start behind and level from one. This is an issue I can get behind. But first, can we just acknowledge that this was the case back then? Maybe we didn't get a paid boost, and I don't know. It seemed to work out pretty well for them, don't you think? Starting from behind is an unavoidable downside of MMOs, since MMOs have existed, and if it were really as big of a problem as people are making it out to be. Why is it that in current, with its many different ways to catch up, such You know why there's boost, man? Because it's Activision. But he's right, though, like, they don't... Anyways. Yeah, finally, like, after watching this vote, it's not over yet. I, th I think, like, I, I was, like, really, like, neutral to the boost, but after watching this rule... Yeah. So why now they put a boost and back then they were not and the game was per was really good? Because it was an Activision, that's why. And I feel like uh, years after years, Activision just get more greedy and greedy. Sadly. Making the boost is greedy. Making new class, new racial, just to, to, to people race chance to get more money is greedy. So many greedy, stop the boost, yeah, but oh. Just these new loot islands, or scaled up gear from every other activity, or I don't know, no, I, level boosts. I legit, I, I forgot about the fact that he had the bots, and, and if they really get banned, well, they're just gonna use a boost, and, and after, nice like, team, yeah, bro, it's really bad. I forgot about this point. Vive Mon Burning Crusade Board Elder Cult Change Reap Ayo Tesla Mayer. Aga 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 deep throat on you, my friend. Guys, like... If you love me, can you please do those type of things, man? That it still to this day has struggles keeping players subscribed. Throughout all of this, Hi, it still has retention issues. They hide their sub numbers, obviously, and redefined what success means for them. But the consistent server merges speak pretty loudly, I think. When all right, I'm gonna be really nice. I'm gonna give a shrimp. To my chat. I put a little bit of 
pesto in it. Oh, do you guys want a pesto a little bit? Yeah, a little shrimp, but you take a little bite. All right. Okay. Open the mouth. The little plane is it coming? Ooh, ooh, oh, hey! Not too much. I need to eat too. Why do <laughs> you allow people to skip this you? hurdle? <laughs> you're gaining a player base with a high turnover rate because uh -oh. they're not as invested into their characters. If you keep this hurdle, the players you gain, although fewer. Ah, tu as tu mangé ça? C'est vrai ça j'ai pris. Hein? See, I swear to God, we cook is getting really like. Uh... We'll have more of a chance to stick because of the time and effort required to get on the same footing <laughs> as everyone else, and this includes not only gearing but also leveling. Especially in the context of Classic, What's up, it's how they built their player base in the first place. It's short-term gain versus long-term gain. Again, referencing here that I feel like Blizzard makes. Well, Shaggy says, do I get any buff from that food? To be honest, I think I get a, bu a buff of energy. I got like a little boost, so uh, I feel a little bit better. That's what I sh always shall do whenever I'm getting tired. Whatever I shall eat, man. You know when I say I'm tired, I need to eat. It's, it's, I'm not joking, bro. I'm streaming for how long? Almost nine hours, bro. makes money in ways that are destructive to their games these days. But as I said, it is something that comes up a lot. And I can always get behind the idea of making it easier to play with friends because that just amplifies the experience many times over. So for the sake of constructiveness, I offer a healthier solution. Fresh PC servers are such a huge request that I'm very surprised that they confirmed that they will not be out at launch. Due to the aforementioned botting issue and Blizzard's failure to control it, there are those who won't play unless fresh servers come out. People want fresh BC, and although I'm not sure everyone is willing to reroll, if one of the reasons to bring out the boost is so people can play with friends, I think this is a way more- Yeah, but fresh, fresh TBC classic will be the worst though. Like, give me a fresh classic, I might. Give me a fresh, like, TBC classic that I need to start at level 1. Will be cool. What you guys think? Nah, bro. Like, bro. I want my tiger. I want my. I would like my tier three. I would like my raptor. I would like kind of my gold. I would like my stuff. And I feel like it's it's remove almost the hype of the TBC burning crusade, bro. Why? Cause I need to relevel one to sixty. It's kind of long, bro. It is long. Me, I would like, bro. Man, I want to see the fucking El Fire Pensuelo, man. Whenever it pop, you know what I mean. I don't feel like revel. I like classic. Don't get me wrong. But chaque chose en son temps, bro. I've been playing classic for two years. So now I'm ready for TBC. Okay. I don't care about the XP entries at this point. No. Oh, oh, even though, bro, with the ink. But don't get me wrong, though. A fresh TBC classic will make the game way better. That's ten thousand percent sure. Ten thousand percent sure the game will be so better. Of course. But who the fuck wanna wanna say bye to their char, to their goal, to their mount, to their whatever the fuck they have? Like cool. What you guys have in your game cool that you don't wanna you don't wanna remove? Me, my raptor, my tiger, my thunder furry, my tier tree, my fucking yo bro, my trinket that I bought for six thousand gold, my 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 uh, my trinket from from yeah. And at some point, you got you got some love from your character, man. Do you wanna like just remove them forever? Or keeping them on a fucking classic that no one will fucking play, aka like he's lost. That's it, yeah. I'd love a fresh TBC. Nothing really, yeah. And there's enough, I know, but yeah, I know the economy is fuck. You're right. Yeah, it is a hard decision. Like, do you want do you want to be greedy and keep your stuff, but but the TBC will be like more scuff? But I feel like we over, I feel like we overthink about the gold, bro, dude. The thing about classic, you need so much gold, bro. It's insane. It's disgusting because there's so many consumables, so many gear, resisting gear, so many like everything. The even just for the wall buff, you need to pay. But in TBC, it's not as expensive that it is in classic. So will will the the economy make? The game that bad? Hmm. 
Yes and no. You stream so much, man. Yeah, but I'm tired. I need to eat, bro. Yeah, it probably won't like. Okay, will the economy fuck up your arena? No. Will they? No. Why? So prefer the PvP? No. Why? Why will it? I don't think. Why will it? Why? Okay, but give me one. I don't know. I don't know why. Why? About Glay, fuck that. Oh, will it? I don't know. So I don't think like it won't fuck up your arena. It won't fuck up your BGs. Will this fuck up your, your rating? Not really, I don't think so. But I feel like it's gonna fuck up the new people though that doesn't add anything. Meaning like bro, where's the fucking vein? Man, I want gold. Well there's not because the the bot are getting it. Where like you know, that's I think that will call fuck up the new people. What do you guys think? No one will know man. Hey yo let's see I saw you were you were streaming, I wanted to fucking host you bro. I'm so tired and I need to eat. Here, my little Letty, are you tired and you need to eat? I'm gonna give you a little something, Letty. Yeah. Open the mouth, Letty. It's just for you, my little man. Go, don't be shy. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, PPC. Mm. <laughs> no, no. No, you like that? <laughs> no, no. Mm. Mm. Yo. What's up, yo? I'm a, I'm so fucking tired. I've been streaming so long these days, and it's disgusting. You see the red mark? It's insane. Like, bro, I don't think it's like, I don't know what it is, but since two or three weeks. I'm getting like, it, it's always singing and everything. There's a guy, he whispered me on Discord. He says it's because of the, the, the time of the... I never had that. Like, I used to have a little bit. It's like, no, it, what is it, man? Clean your desk. No, it's like, I know what it is. And I have it everywhere. Like, I'm I'm, I'm shy about it. But it's it, I think it's the stress. No, my... there's a, No, no, it's not the bed bugs. No, no, it's not bed bugs. No, no, it, it's not bed bugs. I know what I care. I know what it looks like. It's not bed bugs. No, it's not too nice, no. But I don't think so. No, no, no. It's more like, it's it's always like, I think it's due to the shower. I took a shower and it's the stress. I have it too. What do you guys think? What stress? The, oh, the stress that I'm moving, bro. And it, no, I don't think it's eczema, bro. I want to, I think it's the stress, bro. Because I'm moving soon, bro. And I, I never really move. I move one time in my life. So I think it's the stress, yeah. There's, there's a guy who told me, he says, Peyo, because he lives in Canada, Quebec, he says it's, I, it does the same time to me, like uh, uh, during the winter, you know, you take you take hot shower, then you go back and it's hot in your room and it's the stress. So uh, I, I think that's, yeah. And I never had that before. I never had those. I had those like little spots sometimes because of, you know, the, 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 the dry skin, but not dealing with the stress, bro. Um... My the monka water. So shall I take my shower? Um lube up? Yeah, I don't know. And I, I feel shy. Like sometimes you can't see it. I'm I'm shy about it, but there's nothing like I don't know, man. It's just But I don't think it's bed bug, nah, there's no way because it's only on my arms. It should be like on my chest or somewhere at some point. Like why it's only on my arms. It's that's it, that's all. Only on my arms. And on the uh... My little of course. No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> guys, hey, sometimes I'm getting more cutty west sometimes, though. No, it's only on my, uh, on my. <laughs> it's only on my fucking on my arms, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo, yeah, no, I don't have a cat. What do you guys think? So, uh, any any doctor in the chat? Oh, Justin, are you Justin? Are you still there? <laughs> to get to rest your arm on a keyboard. I think you're 20 year old. Uh, I allergic can do this. So I think. What do you guys think? Where do you move? I'm moving. So, hey, hey, yo, wait, wait a second. Guys, Lancy, thank you so much. You're so nice to me, bro. I saw you streaming. And I said, yo, I need to stop streaming. I want to host you because you're always hosting me, man. Guys, make me a favor. Uh, what he said, get the Hydro Cotardine uh, cream, of course. Hey, yo, Lancy, thank And sorry, I called you. You know, this morning, I, w I was calling you because uh, I, I, w I, w I was making my uh, my thrust resistance gear. And I, I wasn't sure which, like, one to get, you know, because I'm a little bit goblin, no? And I, you know, I, I did it by mistake on my, on my, on my AU Rogue. Um, I bought like an extra glove and I have to, uh, to sell it back. 
Yeah, c'est peut-être ça. C'est tes avant-bras passent beaucoup de temps sur tes accoudoirs. Non, non, he's right. I don't know what is it, but... I think it's really the stress that I'm moving, guys. Because yes, I'm moving really soon. And I don't like that. So uh, if you have... Uh, your cheeks are red too. Yeah. Uh, it's... It's everything, bro. But I'm, I'm moving really soon. Guys, can we have some fog? Hey, vivement, Burning Crusade, bordel de cul. Change rien, Payot, t'es le meilleur. Oh, excuse-moi. Oh, you're abusing. I forgot about this one. Yo, guys, can we have some poggers in the chat? Lati. Uh, thank you so much for your host, man. Guys, can we have some... Oh, yo, and yes, guys, please, tomorrow, I'll be... I'm taking a day off tomorrow. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'll be going over there, okay? I'll be there, okay? So, hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, around what time are you gonna stream it? Let's see. Tomorrow, big, big, big uh, speed run with the Let's see, main tanky and everything. I will be there doing the PP, like this, PP, jump, jump, okay? I'll be there. Epilios will be there. Odal will be there. Right Maid will be there. Uh, Lion will be there. Uh, what, what is the name of this fucking rogue? Anyways, it, uh, you know all the big. You know, so it, you don't want to miss it. It's gonna be poggers in the chat. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do pee -pee jam jam salad jam. Uh, you're gonna put my my favorite song. And at the end, we're gonna all do the Abdul. Please, Alati, will you make me the favor at the end of your uh, speed run? You put the Abdul, please. The chat will be on fire. It's gonna be crazy. All right, you don't want to miss that. All right, grats me, boys. Boom! Ninja loot! <laughs> I like it, man. Uh, we, we were finishing. Uh, wait, guys. Yo, let's see for fun. Do you think Do you think the boost will ruin the game in TBC? Do you think, like, what you guys think? I think, I don't know, man. I'm, I, I don't think it's going to be any good. We're, we're, we're finishing this uh, this thing, actually. Thanks again, uh, let's see. I really appreciate that. And I'll be watching your stream tomorrow, that's for sure. Uh... More healthy alternative to get new players into the game. Thank you, Everyone starts up together, and you're knocking out two birds with one stone because so many people were let down by the news of no fresh. What he says, it won't ruin it. We will still have fun. I think you're right, bro. I think it's gonna take more than bus to ruin the game. If not enough people playing is a big worry, Bayou. you can balance that out with the people that you'd lose by removing the boost. And it will take a shit company called Activision to do it. Oh! Pow! Bra, pa, 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 pow! <laughs> Buggers in the left. And gaining the ones who are going to quit <laughs> Yo, if you don't Gatti release West Fresh PC. Which to me, based off of my channel feedback and the forums I've been reading, it's a substantial number. If you're one of these people, by all means, let your voices be heard. I have friends who loved everything they heard about TBC Classic. They loved the pre-nerf stuff, Paladin Seals, No World buffs, but they're not playing because they don't want to play in a broken economy. Some have over a hundred days play time. And that's really the crux of this video, is that there are more healthy ways of solving these issues that are used as reasons to bring in a paid service. Really though? No, no, come on. Oh. Hey, hey, see, hey! The soap you shower with? It's Cause I'll let you in on a little industry secret. Most name brand bars and body washes you rub on your skin are classified by the FDA as synthetic detergent. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> And then like, yo, bro, I'm afraid. Some is there a camera somewhere? Oh, there's one there, but at this point, like, what the fuck? I'm gonna skip it because sometimes you never know what we can see, man, on these ads uh, these days, bro. Yeah, they are listening, yeah. <laughs> are they? On to the next point gold buying is also always an issue in MMOs. Well, how would you feel if I told you that the level boost is indirectly an officially endorsed way to buy gold? Transmute alts are very powerful yeah. and classic. I used them to fund my rank 14 grind. For those who don't know, certain professions have these transmutes that you can only do once per day, or every few days to turn not so useful items into useful items. And because it's on a cooldown, yeah, they're worth money, and you see in trade chat all the time people selling their transmutes. They don't even have the materials, the buyer provides that, they just buy the cooldown, that's it. BC of course also has these transmutes. There's the one you can make. Uh, yo, Tipsy, what's up? Thanks for the T1, eight months. Cron hey, Cron Dizzle, what's up? Thanks for the two, man. And Latsy, thank you again, bro. Guys, got some uh, progress in the chat for little Latsy. Thank you again, Latsy. And tomorrow, for sure, I'm there. As usual, love you, bro. Spellcloth, Primal Might, Primal Moon Cloth, and more to learn the recipe for. There's even one with the uh, jewel crafting, right? It takes all the little green one, 
and you will make a, a bag, I think, and you can even have Epic Gem in it, right? For these transmutes, though, you have to have a certain character level. The developers recognized back then if people could just train these professions right out it's the like game. It's like 48 hours cooldown or something. Yeah. It would break the fragile. That's right, nah, bro. I think I think it's it's. I'm pretty sure it's TBC, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's TBC. Guys, is it right? Nah, it's TBC, bro. That's right, really? Nah, bro. Nah, nah, bro. There's. There's, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, bro, no, no, it's TBC, bro. No, it's TBC, trust me, bro, I, I was, I was doing it, man, on a private server. So you take some random gem, and it makes something, and in the bag, you have, like, even, you can get, it's not always, you get blue, and but you can get an epic one, bro. Yo, trust me, okay, yeah, okay, I'm getting pissed, man. Balance of these profession cooldowns for the important thing. Want start banning? Is it time? I'm just kidding, guys. By the way, I need to chill on this. Stuff, it's level 35 to train up <laughs> to 300 <laughs> skill. And for the Burning Crusade <laughs> stuff, it's 50 to train up to 375. Which, of course, you're good to go with the paid 58 boost. You do still need to level the actual profession, of course, but the bulk of the work is done. It's just another example of how the game wasn't designed for a paid level boost. It's a package deal that indirectly also brings in gold buying. So my question to you is, after playing Vanilla Classic for a year and a half, do you honestly think that the community wouldn't exploit this? Yo, know, anyway, I guess I guess there's a lot of people from uh, from Ghanis now since we got O's by Latsy, bro. Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Stormwind is lagging that much, bro. It's so annoying. It make it super annoying. Like it's insane. I cannot buy. Like if I buy some stuff at the auction house, bro. I, Bro, I need to, like, it's, it takes forever. I need to wait. One, one, one. It's like, it's insane. Then after that, it's my bank. I need to wait. It's my mailbox. And it's so annoying. Blizzard server, I guess, go back with layering. I don't this know. To its fullest extent. Like, this is the classic community we're talking about here. These are people who will raid log their characters for six days with world buffs. Level an alt of the same class so they can actually play the game. But end up doing the same thing with that alt, funny enough. We have players running over a dozen accounts, camping right, each and every Black Lotus. To, to be honest, the meta of the world buff, when you think about that, it's so fucking... It's awkward, man. You know all, you know all lame is this, like... I need to wake up, then I, I call LMGD, LMGD is helping me, I, I get... I need to get... I need to go get ZG, then after that I need to get someone DMT. Then after that on Alliance side, Alliance side, we need Ren, too. So you need to get someone in Ogrima, and after that, the guy will will mind control you. And whenever you mind control, you wait, and now you get ran. But sometimes it's backfire. And then you go back to it's, bro. Holy shit, man! It's so bad. Spawn in an entire zone. Not that there's necessarily was, anything was wrong with maxing and parsing it. My God, was it his very first time you get the black lotus? Self. That's what you like, that's what you like, and you guys know my opinions on world buffs. But the point I'm my making God, here is imagine that... he win at the Lotto. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Uh, watch out. And the classic community is the definition of min-max. They don't min-max, they are min-max, and will do anything and everything to eke out every last percentage of advantage that they can possibly get. So do you really think... My God, you want to see something? You want to see some parse? And if I do this, my God, you told Yapotenko, though uh, he doesn't give his one hundred percent. Yapotenko, but if I do this, though ninety nine, <laughs> yeah, Monka, Monka. Think that they wouldn't buy new accounts solely to bypass the one per account restriction and just spam transmute alts. And this is assuming it's still fifteen dollars a month, assuming that the boost is forty or eight bucks still. That's 55 or 12 as an entry fee, and 15 or 4 a month, depending on the player. Like I said earlier in the video, to some, that's a lot. Wait, I don't, I, 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 I don't get this, though. I'm not sure to get this one. And to others, it's nothing, which creates an unnatural discrepancy between players who have more or less disposable income. 
I already know that you're gonna say that people buy a Golden Classic anyways. Again, it's the same give up and fold mentality that people seem to be so attached to. Rules exist for a reason, and a failure in enforcement doesn't warrant an officially endorsed compromisation of the game across the board. Another point that people bring up is the fact that not everyone will buy the boost, or very few people will buy gold through the multiple account transmute alt method. Only a small percentage of players will. Well first, I don't think that's necessarily true, and two, even if it is a small percentage, are we really still at the point where we can say that in a multiplayer game, a small percentage of the player base doing something doesn't have a massive effect on everyone else? Even putting all of the other points I made in this video aside, only a fraction of the population- I'm actually surprised that they remove it though that was so lame you know before they before they allowed this they, you will see like buffs everywhere though like not buffs how we call that multi uh, boxing like it was so annoying though to be honest it wasn't fair and what's up rope 2 he says i pay which is the best healer for tbc shaman or priest chat for arena i will go priest and for 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 a raid, I want to go like, I, I guess Shaman, bro. Shaman is better with the totem. You want only one priest in, in the raid. But priest for PvP, you know. And multi-boxed and... Like, that was really lame, though. Look at that. Like, it's... It's not even that... It's not even... I, I don't know, man. It's just, it's sad, like... I don't know. It seemed like it affected the game quite a bit. And botting as well. Like I said, they're a big issue. It make the game like, okay, it's funny, but it's not funny at the same time, you know what I mean? But are they the majority of the player base? Of course not. There's still a percentage of the player base, and do you really it's feel like, like oh, bots haven't had an effect on the game? Have a little guess how much they are. Considering the vendor price is two gold, little with that it. much you reckon? Do you want to lower your guess at all? Well, if you said four gold, 99 silver, you were right. A righteous orb for five gold. What? Uh, that's crazy. It's called the bot. Yeah. I feel like when you see the real time prices of items go up after a ban wave, warrants that they have a pretty big impact on your gameplay experience. Yeah, that was, that's, that's, when did we as players cool. earn this great I privilege to pay Blizzard to allow us to skip critical parts of their game? Leveling is character progression in the context of Classic, and paying for progression with real life money compromises its integrity. I see the whole thing is arbitrary anyways. The main reason Blizzard brought up is that there's this group of people who find leveling boring or too time consuming to be bothered with it. But you can say that with just To be honest, to be honest when I see all these things and the thing I'm really happy to have been to play to have played this game back then. Or even on private server on Australia's. To be honest, I, I'm really really happy having taste the good old game. I played Classic back then, I played TBC back then, I played Wrath of the Lich King back then, without all these fucking butt everywhere, uh, without without the boost, without it was it was good man. Yeah every play Yo calm down Trees, are you crazy in your mind? Salut Peyo de Belgique, salut du Canada mon ami. I am tired to eat. Uh it looks like I have a daily now? Hey Frost, my god! Welcome guys! Oof, what shot? It's getting cold in here. <laughs> my god, guys, can I have some poggers in the chat for Frost? Frost, what's up, bro? What are you doing? I just have been streaming for so long, I'm tired, I need to eat, man, it's insane. Guys, can we have something in the chat for my man boy Frost? My god, we got O's by Let's Eat, and Frost, thank you so much, guys, I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Frost, I'm sleeping, been streaming for what? What? There's no way. What did you do for 15 hours, bro? Wait. Did you farm gold? <laughs> Frost Dynamus, one year later. Breaking the 20,000 gold. Then 20, 40,000 gold. <laughs> he was like, he was at like 35,000. One more DM East. Then I go sleep. <laughs> Yeah, he's leveling on Ganis. Yeah, I think I think he's going back. Uh... Oh, do you need something on Ganis, bro? Besides, uh, I think he's, he, well, he wanted to trade gold, right? But I need more gold on Ganis, actually. God damn it. What level is he for fun? Yo, if you need anything besides, I will say gold. Uh, let me know because I, I don't have like, I, I'm saving my gold for uh, for this, actually. Look. 
Yeah, boost. Yeah, we'll need a, I, I need a lot of gold on Gannis because I, I want to get boost on uh, on Gannis because I'm maining any, then I go AU, but I want people help me out. But if you need anything, bro, uh, uh, Frost, if you're getting gank or you want to get run into anything, uh, let me know, I'll be there for you, bro, all right? And I can you I can uh, I can give you some gold as well. Oh yeah, we can just get the boost. Yeah, get the boost. Why not? They are cheap. Here we're watching a video about the boost. Guys, make me a favor. Want to send an amazing streamer? Frost Dynamics. Congrats for your fifteen hours. Go take some rest, bro. Go sleep. Go eat. Go do something. Take a walk. Go go rest your eyes. All right, go rest your brain. I'll see you later. Okay, guys, can I have some poggers in the chat for for my little man. Pyo, please kill some some NPC. Uh, are we playing the game after? How long have you been streaming for? A hey, 15 hours. What level is he, chat? Yo, good night, bro. Guys, can I have some heart in the chat for the little, of course? Thank you so much. Guys, what's up? My name is Pyo. I'm turning into it. Thank you, bro. Just about anything. The attunement is time consuming. Oh, is, is 47? Wait, was he, what is he leveling? I was watching his stream like two days ago. He's leveling what? Wasn't it a paladin, bro? He's a fucking paladin, I think. Yeah, what is he doing with his life? Is he crazy in his mind? Why a paladin, bro? Uh, uh, oh. oh, yes. Sorry, guys, I'm getting really tired, man. Whew. <laughs> Guys, um, yo, bro, I, f yo, bro, <laughs> so it's not even funny, man. All right, all these sexy boy, yo, what's up, bro? Eat right, I know, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm so dead, I'm about to cry. Yo, Frost, go sleep now. Is it, hey, you, is he crazy? His mind is like three in the morning. Go sleep, bro. You know, I'm getting, I don't know, shh. All of my friends are attuned and I can't go into the same raids as them. Where's the boost for that? Farming gold is time consuming and grindy, so why should we be forced to do it? I already farmed to get my flying mount once. There's no reason to force me to do it again. Let's bring out the wild token. Whew. Okay, that was a mouthful. Can you tell I care about the game yet? And hell, I think you too if you've made it this far. Whatever you think about all of this, if nothing else, I think we can agree that we do all care about it. We just see it in different ways. In summary, I do see the good in the boost. More players are always better. But I believe it to be short term because it'll lead Classic down a road that caused players to quit the game to begin with. I think if you really believe that these restrictions will be in place forever, I got a bridge with your name on it that I'd like to sell to you. I think that there are much oh, more yeah, healthy bro, solutions. Like, trust me, the bot are, are gonna get so much ready for TBC, man. We might see like some new stuff and everything. It's gonna be dirty, bro. But and, and, and Frost can Yeah, I know it's getting. Yeah, I know that's why I said For the problems Fucking that people are using as a reason to bring out the boost. Nice if people skip past leveling anyways by paying for power leveling, nerf dungeon XP PC. further when there's a higher level in the party or something to that effect. If people don't want to start behind their friends, release fresh servers, and give them the option to start together. This is a compromise. Of course, there will be those Yo! who aren't willing to re- It should be fun being a chef d'orchestre. You know, ta, ta, you know, the guy in front of the doors, they told, of course, like this. Ooh, tu, 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 tu. I would like to do it, man. It looks fun, to be honest. I always say that in English, the little, of course. Like, let's be honest, does he, does he do something? Will, will the thing will be the, the, the people that will do the thing will do the same without or with him, no? The con, yeah, the con what? The constructor. No, but for real, anyone? No? Like, does he really, est-ce qu'il sert vraiment quelque chose? Does he, does he, is he, is he using for some, how do you say that, est-ce qu'il sert à quelque chose in English? How can I say that? No, he leads them, but leads them. Does he really leads them, bro? The goal of a con doctor. What a doctor actually uh, does on stage. Est-ce que 2020 a laissé sur ta fin? Wait, wait, ben, wait. Pense au comment, mon chum. Dude, I'm gonna get fucking Monka DMC, bro. DoorDash, like, okay, bro. No, sorry, I'm gonna go with Uber. Like... 
Mahler was still alive in the early 1900s. You see these caricatures of him in its crazy gestures. His arms are up, he's jumping up and down on the podium, extremely large gestures. At the same time, Richard Strauss, another composer, living in the same city. Oof, oh, it's bothering, never mind. Reroll, but hey, it's an option. There's already a huge demand for it, so why not? Like, not even one fresh BC server? Really? Not one? Name These that. options revitalize oh, the old world, actually? get more boots on the ground to report botters, and give friends a chance to play together. All at the same time, hey, keeping classic that. World of Warcraft classic. The level boost gives friends a chance to oh, play shit, together God, more easily. We were not even... Yo, bro, by the way, are, are we gonna see yo, bro? I would like to watch Harry Potter, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but on Netflix there's only the 5, 6. Like, are they trolling or what's up? As one doesn't need to re-roll nor re-level, but at the same time... Oh, wait. I'm gonna go to... I'm looking... I'm watching Lord of the Ring tonight. I'm watching Lord of the Ring tonight. Poggers in the left. Can you say my name? No! Uh, uh. My god, I'm sorry about that, dude. Now it's getting really disgusting. I don't know what's going on, man. What's up with my... I'm, it causes irreversible damage to the game, in my opinion. I don't know, yeah, sorry. In my eyes, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, like, I don't creates know more problems it than it solves, and opens up the door to all manner of cash shop services. Now, will the boost be enough to... I think it's the Doritos, yeah, man. Does it smell the Doritos? Sorry. Uh, yo, Destruction, what's up? Thanks for the $5 edition, man. I appreciate that. Make me stop playing? I don't think so. I'm still hyped for the game, man. I want to give credit where credit is due. I think Blizzard has done a really good job with a lot of this other stuff. And I think it's going to be a root and toot and good time all around. And hey, maybe that's what they're counting on. Unfortunately, I do feel like at the end of the day, it's all pissing in the wind. Do I really think they'll change their minds? Probably not. I wish they would, and trust me, this is something I'd love to be wrong on, but probably not. And just to let you guys know, right now is your only shot because once this thing is in the game, it's in there forever because once people start buying it, they have the excuse of, well gee guys, our hands are tied. We can't just let some people buy the boost and then just stop offering it. Come on, that wouldn't be fair. So rest assured, no matter how much damage this causes, once it's in, it's in. I think it would be a good move. Seriously, how much respect would Blizzard get if they announced that? You know what? This isn't classic. Leveling is character progression, and people wanted to skip it back then in the original release. And we didn't let that happen because it would have hurt the game back then, and it would hurt the game today. You see that big statue outside of your building? Ooh, the one with the first of your eight core go. values? The one that says gameplay first. I'm just saying that if you guys tasked me with creating one of the best games of all time, my first thought wouldn't be to offer you a paid service to skip over a major part of that game. And I find it pretty ironic that people are lauding one of the very features and- Anyone listen to classic music? Like, you know, like, like often, like, like you, you, you wait, I know, but I think it's good actually, bro. My father used to watch classic music. No, but I think it's good, man. No, but for real, I'm having, I'm having a good vibe, man. It's relaxing. Am I starting this, bro? And it's not Monka DMC, isn't it? It's not. Is it? No. Okay. No, it's not DMC, but why? Do I? So we can watch like Beethoven right now. Beethoven. Beethoven. Who is Beethoven, bro? I would like to watch the best of Beethoven. As soon as word gets out that an ex-IRA man has gone missing, all hell could break. Hey, bro, we really live in a world of ads. It's insane, bro, like at some point. Who is Beethoven? Anyone know? Okay, when Beethoven is born? Fast. When is Beethoven born? Anyone know? He's a... Eight... Why it's one hour words and five minutes, bro? Is that a fucking joke, bro? Oh, watch out. I just want to hear one sec. Fucking payo.
Peo or just a Bieber P-O-G-G. Check this out, check this out. Is he gonna do it for real though? Sorry about that, man. It's so good, I say. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, am I gonna get my cut DMC? Yo, for if I know, I can. <laughs> Yo, this is good, man. Not a rat, but sleep well. Tonight, Indeed, man. the game must adapt to me oh. mindset that caused them to quit current in the first place. If nothing else, I just wanted it to be known that Mad Season Show does not approve. He thinks that it's a bad move that'll hurt the game. The cash shop is something I've been very vocal about in current, so I feel like I had to share that with Classic as well. A lot of people will reply with "Stop crying," but guess what? Classic wouldn't exist in the first place dun, 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 if people dun, dun, didn't, quote, dun, dun, dun. stop crying about it. You think you do, but you, but don't. you don't. Great games. Yeah, 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 bro, huh? Okay. Are made from criticism. You think you do, but you don't. Okay, let's do uh, Diablo 2, let's do Classic, let's do TBC, let's go Rat, and we're gonna do it again, 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 and over and over. I think you do, but you don't. Kappa. <laughs> people who refuse to acknowledge that there's more than one side to a like, discussion. This video and the whole situation in particular has really left me feeling burnt out. So much so that I think I'm going to take a bit of a mini break here. Nothing too crazy, maybe just a week or two away from it because I do feel a bit drained. I mean, this is a one hour video of an unpleasant subject to me. Out of the 630 videos on my channel, this is the only one I didn't want to make. But I made it because I doubt very much that you guys are subscribed to me because I'm afraid to share my true feelings regardless of how they're received. Classic has had its problems, like I said, but I mean, you can't argue the fact that it put 150 days into it since its release. Clearly, overall, I've had a great time with it. I've met a lot of like-minded people, and I'm lucky to say that I've made good friends through it. It's had a very positive effect on my life, and no matter what else I've said in this video, I want to give a bit- I would like to watch a movie medieval with some music like this, man. Is there any new uh, movie good like that? Great video, I just what it, no, it's not, it's big good. thank you to not only the devs but you, the viewer, as well for giving me your time as you've done so many times. No, Lord but of you the gotta Ring. look at it from my perspective. I've no, slowly no, watched. No, not Lord of the Ring. Uh, 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 Jean d'Arc, et voilà. Watched over the course of 16 years, one of my favorite hobbies of all time turn into something that I have. Warcraft movie, man, to be honest, this game was dog shit. Literally. No, it wasn't dog shit. If I, had, I just think it could have, I could have been better. No, are they gonna do a second, second one though? No, no, it wasn't dog shit. But I feel like the way it was weird, man. The human looks weird. The, I don't know. It was weird. I think so. I think it could have been way better. 
Like, let's be honest, the potential of this movie could have been like, I like it. Yeah, I did like it too. Like, I'm not saying I didn't like it, but I, 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 my exception was more like uh, more than this. You know what I mean? I, 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 it, I wouldn't say dog shit. Okay, sorry. It wasn't bad. I did like it because I like World of Warcraft, but I just feel like it could have been way better than this. Okay, but you know why? It's, it, and we were missing all the Torren and the, the Undead, but I heard that in the Lord. Like, day one, they were not there. It's, it comes after, right? So, uh, maybe at some point we will see uh, more more uh, class and more racial and stuff like this. But, uh, but, yeah. Little to no interest in. That itself is bad enough, but to see that happen twice? To see the start of it going down this old familiar road of... Oh. I, I, I feel like I'm missing some stuff. When is Obi-Wan Kenobi coming? I, I hear that, and it's not true, they're gonna, see, they're gonna do like the life of Obi-Wan. If there is a life I would like to see, like as a series, it has to be Obi-Wan Kenobi. I would like to see, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the series, I, I feel like it will be really, really good actually. Now Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker? But you see, you see, you see, you've seen pretty much everything from Anakin, bro. You've seen everything. You see, like, the, he's in the 1, he's in the 2, he's in the 4, he's in the 5, he's in the 6, he's in the 7. Bro. You've seen everything. If there's something that you, you didn't see much, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi. You see him in when he was, he was old. Can we see him, like, when he was young, what happened with him? What happened between, like, you know, I would like to see yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or someone says Arthas. Yeah, Arthas too. Queen Gun, yeah, Queen, yeah. Oh, I don't have enough time to level, so the game itself and everyone else playing it must adapt to me. That really sucks, and I feel pretty comfortable in saying that. I think I speak hey, for a lot of people on that one. Again, you may say it's not a big deal, that I'm over-exaggerating it. All I have to say to that is I have 16 years of experience under my belt, 16 years of history of the game becoming what it is, and you have the word oh, of a company is. who's already got back on their word oh, multiple times. Back. I just don't see how you can look at this laundry list of issues and say, you know what, I'm okay with the old world being abandoned and 90% of the server going straight to an expansion that's one-tenth the size of its predecessor. I'm okay with the botting going from bad to horrible. I'm okay with creating an ideal environment oh, for I'm cheaters. So my... <laughs> Am I the worst, guys? Sorry. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Asmin. I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> hey, Asmund was there yesterday, yeah? Did you see? I was so happy. You guys wanna see? I was I was really really happy. This up. Cause how many times I said I would like that Asmund talk in my channel. And look at that. There it is boys. Yesterday he come, I'm super happy. I'm gonna post it on Twitter. They are a business. I did Asmund talk, I don't think so. Guys, don't stop you baby me. Oh no way! He's there! He definitely talked! He finally talked in my channel! <laughs> he did it, boys. I was so happy, bro. He... No, I was really fucking happy, bro. He's been following me for six years. He never talked, no bro. No way, bro. No way. I feel like I win the tiger or the raptor, man. Guys, he finally fucking talked in yeah, my channel. Guys, in the chat. Guys, poggers in the chat. Bro, that is a big poggers in the chat. I'm okay with people being able to indirectly buy gold. I'm okay with Blizzard saying that the target audience for this boost are those who don't have a high level character, yet the boost is available for purchase to everyone, even those with 60s already. I'm okay with creating in-game advantages based off of real life wealth disparities. I'm okay with leveling remaining in a poor state, and instead of fixing it, Blizzard is allowing us to just pay to skip it. I'm okay with- You know what I will eat on this song? A donut. A donut. Just a simple donut, chocolate with the hole. That's it. That's all. No Boston cream in it. Me, I'm a simple man. I eat my donuts with the hole in it and chocolate. Poggers in there, guys. What is your favorite type of donut? And what drink will you eat with your donut? And it's obviously a glass of milk. One person, please. Not two. Not three. Thank you. Speeding players closer to stagnation ah, coffee, yeah. in a game whose worst enemy is stagnation. 
and I'm okay to opening Pandora's box to all my aircraft shop it. services, <laughs> because Blizzard now has approval to offer you services that you deem to be too time-consuming, grindy, or unfun. You know what I miss? I, I think I said that. I repeat myself sometimes, but I don't... Anyways, you know what do I miss, chat? But for all the people, the young people, they don't know what's up. But back then, you could order a milkshake at the McDonald's. For maybe I think we owe two dollars max. For one fifty, you get the big milkshake, man. Chocolate. Ah, oh, I miss the milkshake, man. And one remember, am I dreaming? They they used to have milkshake back then, at the McDonald's, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I didn't dream about it. No, it's not the McFlurry, bro. Paul Shaggy, oh, hold on, you, bro. No, not the McFlurry, the milkshake. Are you chilling? Thirty. But no, it's. Yo, bro, there's a big difference between a McFlurry and a fucking milkshake. Sweden still have the milkshake. Are you crazy in your mind, really? You guys are lucky, bro. Yes, yeah, McFlurry is like ice cream. Yeah, I know, I know, I know the McFlurry, bro. It's really fucking good. You put Oreo in it. You put uh, whatever, the Smarties. The M&M. But the milkshake, bro. It's it's something else. Guys, make flurry. Or oh yeah, I see like you know oh yeah for for yeah they put you know the little yeah yeah yeah. Ah, you know what with the you know what's up with the make flurry? I feel like the very first bite is good, but at some point oh, and it, especially at some point you melt too much or just like it's just like ah. Oh. So you get you gotta eat fast because after two three minutes whenever it melt it looks like shit. Guys. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of McFlurry, to be honest. I'm not that much a fan of it. It's, it looks like Moncati West. I'm not even trolling. Guys, if you have to choose between a McFlurry or a milkshake, what will you choose? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was, just, I was just saying to myself, am I right now streaming and talking about McFlurry, man? I am, and I like that. Fun, and that if Blizzard can say that, oh, people don't want to level, so we're giving them the ability to pay to skip it, and you support that, that means that they can say it for literally anything in the game, and it's all for this demographic of player who'll struggle to even play the game because if they don't have time to level, they don't have time to do the time consuming <laughs> or grindy things that are required. To imagine, yo, they should do that, man. Imagine they release a Mick Pogger. <laughs> I'll take two McPogger, please. All right. <laughs> Let's Even go. play BC <laughs> at a very basic level. Is it? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that sounds see you great. Next one. Yeah, it sounds so great, man. <laughs> a McPogger is around. Get the McPogger. <laughs> peace. Yo, peace out, bro, guys. My man, boy. I'm gonna end the video. Farewell for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. See you again. Yeah, come on. Really, no one did any that feeling when you comment and you don't have one like. Am I at the point of my life to to like my own comment? Well, I just did it. No, no, it's okay. I'm gonna do it. Like, like, really? One fucking hour, poggers. How many times people does that? You know, there's always something wrong when I have some sometimes the eighth message on my YouTube. It's like, oh yeah, you're so bad, lol, lol, lol. One like. Okay, we already know that you're the one that like unlike like your stuff, right? Okay, anyway, now I'm a uh, point to uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, I wouldn't be surprised that people has two account and they comment and you know they 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 oh yeah you're right oh thank you and like. <laughs> They ought to reply to them with like several accounts. I wouldn't be surprised we live in a weird world, world right, chat? Uh, it's time to go to McDonald's. Bro, I just eat uh, pasta and Doritos, man. Now, tomorrow I might order something. Uh, Poggers in the lair. Uh, let me see what's going on in the AU.